Hi, Mac. You're here early. Game takes forever to load, so. By forever, I mean like two minutes. I mean, no, it's my cafe. It's not a game. Also, new channel port redemptions today are enabled. You know the drill? Don't redeem now, though. It wouldn't make sense. Should I add that to the pin chat? That there's channel points today? I probably should. Okay, the game screen went black. <laughs> uh... Oh, there it is. It wasn't working. Face came on in two minutes. Okay, 10 seconds. I'm not in some only chat. Okay, I just had to make sure. Good morning. Whoa, this country's so cute! Why do I look laggy? Uh-oh. Hello! Good morning, good afternoon. It's probably morning for most of you guys, because right now it's 8.56. And it's that time of year again. Not time of year, but it's been like three months since I've done a work sim stream. So you know what? I wanted to do one today. I got up early. I got my apron on. My hands are washed. Today, I'm going to be running my own cat cafe. I'm going to be playing cat cafe manager for eight hours straight. A full nine to five shift today. Classic piece in content. You know, I was doing this before the big boys were playing supermarket simulator. Okay. I would just like to say and clarify. I started this meta. Also, you see this? Pimple. Ignore it. Okay. 
The scrunchie's so cute. Okay. Also, I think I color corrected my camera fine because the whole fiasco yesterday. <laughs> you guys want to see what it looks like before? The filters I used yesterday look like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's cause like that's the filters I have to use when I use direct lighting I think I'm too saturated I look pink I'm gonna fix it real quick before I start and clock in okay that looks a bit more natural I don't look orangey and you know what else I got today uh ignore low I have a clock isn't that sick I have a clock today so now you guys get to see, like, in real time what time it is for me. I have to copy this to the other layer. So we have three more minutes together until I have to go to work, guys. Three more minutes. Also, you know the drill? Custom channel points enabled for today. You can ask for a coffee fact or leave a smoogle review with TTS enabled. I gotta pull up my facts. I'm, I decided... For the facts, I'm not gonna print them out. It was a waste of paper. Okay, coffee banks. The clock is cute. Yeah, I just Googled clock Twitch overlay and it had this website that had like a bunch of different timers. Yeah, I have my facts ready. Oh no, I have two minutes. I don't wanna work. I don't want to. <laughs> okay, I need to duplicate. Okay. All my scenes should be working today. No! God damn it. What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna reset the game capture card too. God damn it, what the hell? I'm back. When did people gift? During the sub-only stream, when I was using my Kappa PNG tuber. I thought we weren't supposed to. You said you didn't want to. We had a new viewer, a new chatter, follow, subscribe, and gift within like the first 10 minutes they followed. It was crazy. I was at wait. Yeah, I said. You missed out on a hype train. We got a level 3. Shoutouts. Okay, let me see that the audio synced. Wait, it's 9 o'clock! <laughs> No, I'm gonna be late. <laughs> okay, it's synced. It's now nine o'clock. Let's get to work. Let's boot up cat cafe manager. The nap time update. I don't know what that is. I haven't played this game myself. I bought this because I thought my sister would like it. She booted up the game. She literally skipped through all the tutorial. Like, she just spam clicked. And then she turned to me and be like, how do I do this? How do I do that? And I'm like, bitch, I don't know. You skipped the tutorial. So, I'd, I've only seen like the first two minutes of this game. And she skipped all the dialogue too. <laughs> so, I haven't played it. I haven't seen much. Also, the clock is stupid. The numbers, like, change shape, so you'll see a colon sometimes on the clock. I'm sorry. I can't- I can't fix the overlay. Okay, new game! We're in. My Twitch chat. <laughs> Just crickets. You traveled all the way from the city to Catterwall Way. 
It's a small countryside town hidden far away from the bustle of the city. You hardly even remember the town. Don't take it too hard, you were a baby. Wait, mother or father? I don't like either of them. Let's do dad. Dad never mentioned how pretty it was. Granny stayed when you left. It's only now that you know why. Turns out she was running a business. So she's a liberal. Ah! You arrived! Wasn't there supposed to be a building here? There's a big man clumsily rummaging around the field. He's all chafed knuckles and smiling eyes. Are I supposed to be here? My grand's litter asked me to come. Oh, you're a little tyke. I should have known. Sorry to scare you. <laughs> I'm Potter. Swap out the end for a B, it is problematic. I was a good friend of your grand's. <laughs> Couldn't compete with her cats, though. <laughs> What's your name? Let me get a good look at ya. I feel like he has a different voice. No, let me do my old man voice. Also, I just realized the stream's in 30 FPS. That's my fault. Oopsie. Your name. Peace in. That's why it looked like I was lagging. Dang it. I can't change it now. Shit. My name is Peason. Hairstyle. Cap. I'm not bald. Ooh, long curls. Wait, I'm so cute. Cat hat? <laughs> that looks like something you buy on Etsy. Oh, the pigtails are cute. I just want a single ponytail. Oh, tied back. I think ponytails are cute, and that's what I'm wearing today, so I'll go with that. <laughs> Look at him, I have a clock. I have a clock right here. I'm kind of brown. Ooh, I'm not a zombie. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm not that dark, though. I think this one is the closest. I'm not pale, but I'm not dark. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at ya. You even got your grand's eyes. Nain was always talking about ye. Said that even as a little babe, she liked how you were so... Pick a trait. Gourmet. You enjoy eating food almost as much as you enjoy making it. Plus two, cooking. Chance using less ingredients when cooking. Gentle. Your gentle demeanor can calm down the rowdiest cat. Plus two, cat care. Plus one, stress release for cats. Or social butterfly. You have a knack for making others feel comfortable. Plus two, service. Okay, if I'm working at a cafe, I need to riz. And let's be honest, I am the riz god, so social butterfly. So, did Nate's letter say why she needed you to come here? To rebuild her cat cafe. Ha, huh. I know it. Let me help you set up. First things first, let's pick a good name. Who, Cat in the Kettle? Cat in the bag. Let's just keep it default. I'm gonna leave it as is. Cat in the kettle. That's actually cute. Cat? Kettle. Such a clever cat face pun. Unless it's not a pun. What a- No. I've been pun deaf since the age four. We hear the telltale sound of meowing cats. Three little furballs poke their heads past the trees. Oh, it's some of the many stray cats which roam Catterwall. This is the perfect opportunity to adopt a cat, Peason. Need cats for a cat cafe, after all. 
We only have room for one right now. You can expand the cafe and take these other two off the street later. I can choose a chill cat, a clean cat, or a tiny tummy. The chill one, they tend to vibe. <laughs> um, honestly, if this were real life, I would want a clean cat. But aesthetically, I love black cats or cats that have stripes, but none of these have stripes. So I'll do the clean cat. You've won this cat's trust. They would like to be adopted. Go ahead and give them the perfect name. I think I'm gonna keep names default. I don't like changing animals' names. Its name is Missy. You adopted a stray. Missy, level one. They seem to trust ye, he said. Ye got your grand's feline charms, ye do. Oh, as you can see. The cafe is just a teeny bit destroyed by a storm. However, I've saved some of the furniture. You received a bunch of shabby looking furniture. You probably need some chairs though. You can buy some more at Crufts Decorations in town. Alright, I'll be sure to check on you later for now. Good luck turning this field into a cozy little cat cafe. Oh my goodness. They're monologuing right now. Your goals. Hello, dear. I hope this notebook helps you along your way. Your goal is to delight your customers. Your customers will have needs which, when fulfilled, increase their satisfaction. If your customers leave satisfied, they'll gain more delight, and also give you more resources for you to expand your cat cafe with. What is in your cafe? Cats. Cats make your customers happy by meeting their cat need, but also have their own needs you'll need to fulfill. Staff. Staff automatically perform tasks around the cafe. They'll be used for when your cafe gets bigger. Furniture. Each piece of furniture has stats which affect your cafe. Some customers have needs tied to furniture, so pay attention. Controls. Love stick. Y is perform task. Okay. Tasks will appear around your cafe. They range from taking an order to petting a cat. Hold the button to perform them. Inspect mode. Hold right trigger to enter inspect mode. Use inspect mode to check on the stats of whatever you're near. Okay. So it's like Sims. Oh my goodness. This is so much. <laughs> okay. Uh, where should I put face cam? I think I'm gonna move her down. Oh, I'm doing capsule. Moving all this down. Clock, bottom right. Chat, where do you guys want to go? Actually, let's put clock, bottom left. Chat, bottom right. <laughs> yeah, there's so much on screen. <laughs> okay. Wait, I'm just looking at this. Water requires a sink. You don't have an entrance. It's literally just a view. <laughs> oh my god, Doctor Who. Man, I can run fast. Look at this. Grandma gave me the cafe. Yeah, there's literally no cafe. What is going on? This is the shittiest inheritance ever. Okay, what do I do? Oh, what is this hut? <laughs> what? Decorate, menu, cats, staff, advertising, and to town. A decorate. Oh my goodness. Use design mode to build and decorate your cat cafe. Er, 
room. I think you need to build a cafe. Yeah. My grandma sucks, dude. Hi, Goss. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Clock into work. Oh, replacing a floor is free. Nice. I'm not reading all this. You guys can skim. Oh, is it free? Wait, build cost 10. Right now I have 400 materials, so that means I can make a I can make 40 floors. Wait, ugly entrance? It's free. Moldy chair? Dude, why is he giving me such horrible furniture? A sink? Okay, let's build the entrance. Should be placed on cafe tile. Oh my god. We have two? Oh wait, I, that's the window. Okay. Hmm, what type of tile should I get? Oh wait, the cobblestone is kind of cute. Wait, an out wait, an outdoor cat cafe? I don't think that'd work. The cats would run away. Just dirt? <laughs> Let's go with wood. Oh, but carpet is probably better for the cats. Let's do wood. Wood is classic. Invalid placement. <laughs> oh, am I putting walls down too? What the hell? Wait, what? Oh, it automatically puts up walls. That's kind of sick. Why is it costing 15 now? It went up in price. What the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna move chat up. Field trip time. So I'm gonna say what the hell a lot. <laughs> we'll keep the cafe small and expand later. Yeah, it's going up in cost. It's 17 now. Wallpaper? It's free? Oh, that's the current wallpaper I have. <laughs> Trash can? Oh! It gets rid of the wall. I thought it was an actual trash can. That's so dumb. Broken window. <laughs> Gotta let some light in. Dusty rug. Sink? Yo, how am I gonna fit a whole kitchen in here? Crummy table. <laughs> well, I can sell it. You're being scammed? I mean, Old Man said there was like a storm or something, so... Ugly entrance. Did I make this? Okay, I did make it centered. I did a 9x3. Okay, I think this is decent. Oh, hello, sir. Take order. Skill 3 out of 1. He's 33% satisfied. <laughs> okay, he's hungry and he wants one more cat. Wow. 
Why did we need a frying pan for water? <laughs> Are we only serving water here? Dude. <laughs> Man, I'm rizzing like crazy. He loves the water. Okay, my cat's doing a good job. Hi. Oh, hello. Chat. Oh, hey. Carla Lala. Um, hello. Oh dear, I've been so excited to meet you, Peason. I'm Carla Lala. Please call me Carla, or Lala, or both. I run the pet emporium in town. We carry many useful items for cat owners, such as cat food or litter boxes. Hope you can find the time to pay us a visit. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Options. Thanks, Carla, I will, or I love your hat. Hmm. Hmm, maybe I can riz. Okay, also, I'm gonna move the camera and stuff again. It's bothering me. I don't know where to put this shit. I think I'll do here. No, I, I don't know where to put this shit! <laughs> I hate the hood. Okay, no, I'll do here. I'll do here. Wait, now I'm facing the wrong way. Shit. How do I flip? Transform. Flip horizontal. Now I'm facing the right way. Jet. Field trip. I'm gonna move the huddle around a lot. I don't know. Let's riz. I love your hat, Lala. Oh dear. I'd recommend not commenting on a witch's hat. I can't speak for all garden witches, but it's embarrassing. No, negative Riz. Negative Riz. Quite a few garden witches live in here. Quite a few garden witches live here in Catterwall. Please, no have related talk when you visit Cat in the Kettle, alright? Good, good. Us witches tend to pay in scrumptious nectar. Many merchants at the food market enjoy it so much that they'll only accept nectar as payment for their food recipes and ingredients. If you wish to stock Cat in the Kettle with new drinks and foods, I'd recommend you advertise to witches and collect some nectar, piece in. Personally, I look forward to visiting Cat in the Kettle more often. I hope we can talk more then. You met Carla Lala. Unlock new resource, nectar. Nectar will give you recipes and cooking appliances. Oh my goodness. Okay. I will move the HUD for a final time. We don't... Oh, wait, maybe we do need to see that. Okay, I think... Jed? Where can I put you guys? <laughs> I'll put you there. Hi! Oh, hello! Please stop by the Pet Emporium soon! I really don't have many customers! Okay. Dusk sets when you hear a raspy meowing outside. When you open the door to see if it's a stray, a dark shape rushes into Cat in the Kettle. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the freak? Grimalkin. An ancient black cat sits in your cafe, gazing at you with big yellow eyes. Hello. Hi! Not surprised, little thing. You resemble your grandmother, Nang. I am surprised to find her cat cafe open for business. Your handiwork, I am sure. The cats which have chosen to shelter here. Their paws are soft. Their tummies full. Their bristles bristly. This thing pleases me, little thing. I have something to show you. Follow, if you please. The shrine? What? You follow the dark cat into a clearing hidden deep in the woods. There you find what looks like some sort of ancient shrine. Have you noticed, little thing, how your cat in the kettle and his cats have brought the light? The humans of Catterwall. 
For the sake of this shrine, I ask of you to continue to do so. Fill their little hearts with delight and obtain their help in restoring this old shrine to its former glory. Pretty please. Yes. What is this shrine? Yeah. Huh. I'll tell that tale in due time, inquisitive little thing. But no wood is powerful for canny cat caretakers, such as yourself, little thing. As the shrine is restored, I'm sure you will enjoy bountiful benefits for your cafe and cats. To start, set a project for yourself. Each project requires goals to be met and a certain amount of delight. Why don't you try starting a project now, little thing? I will find you after you've managed to make some progress. Oh. This is a base building game, isn't it? Okay, I, I genuinely don't know where to put everything. Maybe clock here. Uh... Might as well take everything out. Yeah, I just there's two the hub is in every single corner. There's no good spot. Okay, I think this is a good layout for like normal gameplay. And then when there's dialogue, I'll do top right. Sounds good, sounds good. I think this is the best I can do. Okay. Sorry, I I get anxious. Okay, cat in the kettle. Food. Ooh, I want a big menu. Cats. Adds two cat limit slot. I should probably get more cats first, huh? Decoration. I don't want decoration. I want more cats. Okay, I need... Oh, this HUD is crazy! Look, now there's a HUD there. I need a hundred delight. Or desire, no, delight. Delight. I need a hundred delight to get another cat. Dude, my cafe is shit. <laughs> so I guess different types of customers pay different things. So I guess we're doing like a barter system? I only have 32 resources left. Let's go to town. Oh, wow. There was a lot. We got pet goods, furniture, market. Let's do furniture. I'll be here in silence. Coffee machine? Crappy toilet? <laughs> Magic chair? Cash register? Ooh, we can get money. Okay, I know different decorations, and I assume decoration types will entice different types of customers. I think I'm gonna get a coffee machine. Then I can serve coffee. Oh, it's the old man again. I have to buy ingredients? Okay. The first three, black coffee, black tea, and herbal tea, require cooking skill level one. I'll buy... All of these. Okay, it shows what I need here. I need coffee beans, tea, herbs. I bought the coffee machine already. Coffee beans. Uh, tea leaves. Herbs. And I, I bought the coffee machine. It's probably saying that because I didn't place it in my, my shop yet. Let's check out the pet goods. 
Wait, I probably gotta feed the cats every day, huh? <laughs> I already have one food bowl. It costs 45. Can stray lure. Ooh, we can entice more kitties. <laughs> Kittens, of course. Oh, she doesn't have shit. She literally just says food. What is this pet store? Okay, I should probably buy... Oh, she only has one? Do I have to come back here every day? That's so silly. Yeah, I assume once you raise her up more, she'll sell more things. We got coffee maker. Placing the food just so I don't forget about it. Move furniture. Okay. If I'm smart, I'm gonna put the cat food out of my path. And then I'm going to move my cooking stations right by the tables. We'll put the rug over here so the cat can chill. No, I'm gonna throw it away. No way I threw it away. It's either glitched or I threw it away. <laughs> okay, I don't need it. I'm ready for the next day. They called the person a vagabond. They were 67% satisfied. Oh, okay. So Carla likes pretzels and two cats. Okay, it has tips on the left. Let's look at those. Tip number one. You still have three chair slots left to fill. The more chairs you have, the more customers will visit. You also have two cat slots left to fill. Buy stray lures at the pet emporium to adopt more strays. Wait, I thought you said I only had one. He's a liar. Okay, rank D. Oh, cleanup skill. Hi. You currently don't have any lures in your inventory. Shit. Hello. Oh, she wants a pretzel. Why are you ordering things we don't have on the menu? Dude, people are so dumb. Hope you enjoy. She don't look happy. <laughs> You know what? I don't mind if you just drink water. That's all we really got, sir. I'm gonna have to buy a lot more things at the shop today. Why is everybody ordering things we don't have? It's like the kids who ask, do you guys have chicken nuggets at the steak restaurant? Hi. <laughs> yeah, I didn't click on anything. This just popped up on its own. Staff. It's tough to run the cafe just by yourself, so try hiring some staff to help out. Each staff member is good at different things. You will slowly earn, you will slowly earn staff trading points which you can spend to level up your staff. Doing so will increase their stats. What's the 9.30 timer for? It's not a timer, it's like the real time for me. It's 9.31. So it's kind of like for VOD watchers to like know how far I am throughout my day. Staff hiring. To hire new staff members, you will first have to perform the staff hiring project at the shrine. I have to make a sacrifice. Oh, hi, Kobobo. Can we get some yos? Hello. 
Okay, once this is done, you go to the notice board and then you post the job. Dude, I don't need stuff. I'll just do everything myself. I don't need no workers. They cost money. Oh, you're so cute. I want to buy some cat toys for him. Oh? Dude, stop ordering pretzels! <laughs> These people, my goodness. And what cafe has pretzels? Pretzels is what you get at the mall. Okay, watch this. Two for one. Thick combo. Oh, I didn't serve it all the way. Man, seven desire? Damn. Oh my god, a little zoomer. What are they gonna order? Bubble tea. Wait, she's kind of cute. Finley. Hi, um, I hope it's okay to say. The work you're doing here is inspiring, honestly. Oh, thank you. Hey, no problem. I mean it. I'm Finley. I, uh, make music. Not, like, for money. Unless you count my mom's Patreon sub. Bet you didn't know that there's many artists in Catterwall. Lots of creative folk moved here to focus on work. Cat and the Kettle's chill. I would bet they'd love it. Us artists can hook you up with jewels. The craftsmen over at Craft Decorations charge jewels for most of their furniture. So if you're looking to furnish your cafe, advertise to artists and get yourself some jewels, okay? Do you happen to have any coffee? Oh my god, I have coffee! Yes! If not, don't forget to buy the coffee machine at Gruff's after you buy the recipe. I really enjoy working on my stuff here. And I hope I can get to know you a little bit better too, if that's cool with you. Oh my god, she's blushing! She likes me! That is cool. Same here. Or pleasure meeting you. Oh, wait, she's asking, is that cool? And I said, that is cool. Yes, I'd love to riz. Till next time, then. You met Finley. Unlock new resources. Jewels. Regulars. Making a wonderful cat cafe is important, of course, but making friends along the way... Regulars. Making a wonderful cat cafe is important, of course, but so is making friends along the way. Regulars are colorful, colorful townsfolk who will keep visiting your cafe. As they visit and gain delight, you'll fill your friendship bar. Each time this fills up, you go up a friendship level. Certain shrine upgrades are also unlocked until you reach a certain friendship level with any of the regulars. Regulars will often visit on their own, but if you want to meet a specific person, use the phone booth outside of your cafe to give them a call. Okay. Got it, boss. Man, I'm so glad I have coffee for my new girlfriend. <laughs> and she's so chill. Oh my god. Do you read a lot of books? I'm only into a pretty specific genre myself. Dude, I think she likes me. She's talking about books. That's like first base, right? Oh. Oh, I do have pet food, thank goodness. Okay, I'm going to go to town. Oh, advertising. Oh my goodness. Use the advertising menu to select which customer groups visit the cafe. This can be useful if you want to earn specific resources quickly. Uh, how do I advertise? Oh. Um. Oh, it was locked. You need black coffee? need pretzel. I don't have pretzels. Yeah, I started advertising. 
Let's go to town, buy some goods. Yeah, I can only- Oh wait, that's a whole pet bowl. <laughs> I don't need that many. I'm like, I know what I need to do. It's probably gonna take me a while to get into the rhythm of everything. Basic flowery window. That one's cute. Cost 65 though. It's a lot. He has different decorations every day. He had a lot more plants yesterday. I'd be so overwhelmed. You know, this is just my normal job. It's part of like owning a business. If you can't handle it, then it's not for you. Okay. Oh, I can make pretzels. I just didn't have enough money yesterday. Okay, let's learn the pretzel recipe. And buy some bread. That's all I can buy. I'm gonna hold on decorations until I have a lot more money. I think I'm ready for the next day. Do ring D? What the freak? Okay, half the people wanted pretzels, so I can't really do anything about that. But I can make pretzels today. Okay, I think we can lure near the cat. No, different lures atta attract... Different lures attract different stray cats. We got one. This is gonna get crazy once I have, like, more tables. Yeah, I should probably get in the habit of buying ingredients every day. Once I have the resources for it. Okay, she's pleased, but not fully satisfied. Hey. <laughs> Makes the music scary. Okay, strays and adoption. Let's try adopting some cats. Police allure, and then pet the stray cats to gain their trust. Several stray cats will show up. You can pet one of them and increase their trust. Keep feeding and petting a stray, and once trust is filled up, you can adopt them. Forever homes. You can only hold as many cats in your cafe as you have cat slots. You won't be able to adopt new strays if you're at your max. To free up space in your cafe, you'll have to give your cats a forever home. Go to the notice board in town and look for forever homes with the townsfolk. Okay, if, if somebody adopts the cat for a forever home, I get a reward. Oh my goodness, this is so much. Okay, I'm going to pet the black one. Oh, I can choose from this hut. Okay. Nico looks happy. I'll choose Nico. Oh, I have to lure them every day? Why don't they just love me immediately? Oh my god, Grandpa's here. <laughs> oh, peace and figure. Come check in. See how you're doing. How you been then? Do we want to glaze them up? Yeah, I like cats. Let's say I'm working on I want to make Grandma crap proud. It's hard work, but I want to make Gran proud. <laughs> you do your old lady at this rate, he said. I'm sure she's more proud than ye can fathom. Say, I've been talking to some of me fisher folk friends. Say they're keen to visit cat in the kettle, he said. 
fisher folk are like myself, straightforward folk who sometimes prefer paying and fish. Don't give me that look. It's a trown tradition. Paying being. Carl, all of the pet emporium, could use all the fish she could get her witchy hands on. Sell her finest cat wares for fish alone. So, if you want to trade your cats or buy lures to attract new strays, you might want to advertise to fish or folk and catch yourself some fish. Like they say, teach a man to befriend a fisherman, and they'll have fish for a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, this seems pretty straightforward, you know what I mean? That's why you gotta get, like, baker friends. That way they make you cookies. No, why did they get the pretzel? Oh, wait, they wanted a pretzel. <laughs> it's good that I don't have to select what I'm gonna cook. I would cook it, the wrong thing, and get cooked. One more satisfied customer. These co cozy games are so detailed. I love how detailed they are, personally. It's kind of overwhelming, but then once I get it, I get it. I get really into it. Just like your mother. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, he's gay! Sorry. <laughs> He met me has been Gavin. He's a librarian down at the library. What a concept. Yo, guys, lay. <laughs> okay, switching the scenes for dialogue is dumb. I don't want to keep doing it. Okay, you know what I'll do instead? I'm moving the HUD back to the right. I don't think I need- I don't think you need to see the goals. It's fine. Field trip time again. Yeah, this- this will just make my life easier. And my life is important. Here. This is the new HUD. New HUD. Man, I did not think he was gonna have a husband. I was thinking he would hate me. Oh, also today, I have a uh, fruit juice. Dancing on her? Oh, fisherman, are you also gay? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of nice how different type of people will order the same thing. That's actually really nice. This place is kind of dead though. We're only getting like five people a day. It's like how busy an actual cafe is. Oh wait! Oh, but there's more- there's more cats! I want... It's also like a lower resolution. I want this one. Okay, Emma's. Where should I put the clock? <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's put it here. No, but chat's there. Fuck! I don't know where to put anything. <laughs> okay, let's put clock. No, but then dialogue's there. I hate this HUD. I just hate everything. Uh, here, how about we'll put it here? Put it on my face cam.
There, that solves the problem. My clock is on my face cam. You know what, maybe I should get rid of the sub goal. I don't know. You guys, this is hard being a streamer. This is the hardest job ever. <laughs> I hate this job. Skip to morning. No, I should probably place a lore. Let's go to town. I don't need to buy more food. She doesn't have any more toys either. Cooking skill level 5? Oh, okay. I was gonna say it should tell me in my inventory. It does. So I have 5 bread, 9 coffee, 8 herbs, 7 leaves. I'm gonna buy... Oh, I bought double. <laughs> I, I accidentally did it twice. Don't you hate when you, like, accidentally order too much? At least, I assume they don't expire? I want to save up for the crappy toilet. 145. Didn't you should do the same thing in Eastward? I do it in every single game. It's because I'm so used to spamming. Or having a lot of money. I think I'll buy one of each chair. Because then I assume different type of people will sit in said chairs. Ooh. Let's buy another rose bush because I think I have one outside. Oh, what was that? Let's place our decoraciones. selling these. I think I accidentally sold the carpet I had earlier. I didn't realize that the B and the Y were put back in inventory and B was sell. I think I, I actually sold it. It was shit anyway, so... Oh, I almost did the wrong thing. I just want to see what this looks like. Oh, that gets rid of... Oh no, that gets rid of the flooring. Hi, Daddy, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Dude, this is so silly. I can't really make my cafe any bigger because I only got 32 wood and it costs 17. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but you know what I do know? What I must do? Run some ads, because guys, we are an hour into stream, almost an hour into my 9 to 5 shift, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5, skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long, or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Switch and sub for free with Prime. Isn't that crazy? Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. I do think I'm going to get good at this game. I'm going to have the best cafe that's ever been made. Don't you worry. Ooh. 
Dude, it's so weird seeing me in 30 frames per second. I hate it. I hate it. Wait, face reveal. <laughs> Guys, this is my real face. Okay. I think I am ready for the next day. Wait, why is everybody... Why weren't they satisfied? What? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what is this? Th I have one cat. Oh, maybe it's the type of cat they like? Oh. I have one cat, but they don't like my cat. Rise and shine, everybody. Is this game the really popular one? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't hear about this game until I saw it like on the Switch store. Like, nobody's talking about it. These types of games are way too hard to get into. Uh, I think I agree and then kind of don't agree. Like, the first few hours are usually more grueling. But then once you're in it, you're in it. To win it. The one on the far right? Oh, I want it. Okay, since I can only have one cat right now, I should not get buddy-buddy with a stray cat just yet. I should gradually work on building up everybody. This one. This one's cute. Because I think I can only still have one cat. Because in order to get into the cat slot, I need to get a hundred. Oh, hello, sir! Dude, he looks wicked! Hi. Mateo! Yo! Sorry, I'm fixing something. <laughs> a mysterious stranger! Diffs! Diffs. <laughs> a mysterious stranger drifts into Catterwall, collecting the town's stray cats under one roof. Driven by what? Mitchery? <laughs> Mitchery? <laughs> Driven by what? Rich witchery? Madness? Business acumen? Driven by my desire to lead this conversation? No! I want to be his friend, not his lover. I like the other girl. Driven by my grandma, I guess? Huh. Aren't we all the same way? Siri, please note that it's some kind of cool stuff I've said, but don't quite understand list. Thanks, babe. After you left the city, you thought you'd never see someone talk to their phone assistant again. You can figure there's only that one guy. Name's Mateo, friend. You must be a business person. You know, I'm somewhat of a business person myself. Business people are just looking to blow some steam from their high pressure and very important jobs. And don't mind spending some valuable gold. Deluxe furniture can only be purchased using gold. Obviously, you want the good stuff first. Best advertised business people. Siri, please add cat in the kettle to the hey that's neat list. Oh, also, add cat in the kettle to the hey cats list. Thanks, sweetheart. I'll definitely pop back in here later, friendo. Now back to the grind with you. Toodles! I hate him. Met Mateo. Unlock new resource. Gold! Man, you must be a really successful businessman if you can play it in gold. Did you ever play the cat collector game Neko Atsume? No. And I should not play that or tell my sister to play that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I'm already addicted to Supermarket Simulator. I, d I don't need something else right now. Oh, he's so cute! Dude, I want a cat so bad. Hi, hello! Stay productive, Peason! Ew, I hate him. I hate him. Stay productive? He sounds like a filthy capitalist. Uh -huh. 
Oh, I really want another cat here. I looked it up and the max number of cats you can unlock is 50. You can have 50 little cats running around your restaurant. Why is he so sad? You do not catch your giant fish? I can be your catch. <laughs> Oh wait, there's cats! Hi. I think I'm gonna gradually try to warm up to all the different cats. We don't have any lures. I wish some of the customers would like get angry not because like I want that to happen genuinely I just want drama oh my goodness this field is huge I can probably fit like 20 tables I think what you're supposed to do is build up your restaurant and have like different sections within the same building and have different themes per room that's my assumption but the witch kept sitting in the broken chair. I don't know. No say. I guess I can just advertise to everybody. Cool. You know, I don't discriminate or hate. Still no- still no toys. Hipstery bookshelf? Oh, I'm broke. I wonder if I level up my skills. I'm still at level one. This one adds two cat slots. Wait, there's also cats at the shrine. Can I just cop these guys? There's a lot of stuff in this game? Yes. <laughs> But we're playing it for eight hours, so you know what? I'm gonna be a pro by the end of today. Oh, staff hiring. Unlock the community notice board. So that means if I level up a cat and I don't have the notice board, then the cat just dies in real life. Because the notice board is for hiring and adopting strays. Well. I guess then I should keep focusing on unlocking actual cat slots. I'll keep pondering on what I should unlock next. I kind of want to get... Oh, unlock floral little box, cardboard box, and basic cat bed. Oh, so those are probably things I can buy at the store. Dude, it's gonna take so long to level it up. My god. Nobody's satisfied. Come on. Oh, who is this? Hello. An artiste. She's pretty cute. Hello. 
customers are so nice. They always say hi when they walk in. We got some strays. I bet the witch is like the black cat. the wrong type of liberal. You know, the vagrants give me, like, the most desire. They're so appreciative. Who are you? Oh, that's the furniture store guy. Oh, hey. New kid. You're doing that thing people do to me when they want to chant. When they open their mouth and words tumble out of me, that thing. I'm Rarwell. Don't bother introducing yourself, okay? Won't take long before you're out of here anyways. Oh, learn some manners. No. Uh, happy to meet you. God, smiling that much doesn't hurt at all. You wouldn't make much of a punk. That's right. I'm a punk. Know a couple other punks too. We're pretty cool. Me and my punk pals, we're low on cash, but we scrounge up lots of sweet materials. If you want to expand this dump, you're going to need yourself some materials. At least, that's what I'd say if I wanted to give helpful yet slightly obnoxious advice. You're not the worst. You can tumble words at me later if you like. Wait, I think he likes me. Met Arwell. Unlock new resource. Materials. Materials are spent on construction of your cafe. I think I've unlocked all the lower skill food, so I should be able to serve most anybody who comes inside. The cafe. Do not want playing this? This feels like a Flash game. They should really bring back Adobe Flash. I don't know why they took it down. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi. I never knew Catterwall had a cat cafe. That's neat or whatever. He, I think he's cute. Hello? I like the brutish type. Or not brutish. Like, that's the wrong word. I like aloof. Aloof is the right word. What Adobe should have done is they should have, like, lied about taking down Adobe Flash player. And then people were like, no, don't do it! And then they keep it up. Or made people pay for it. I- okay, I would have paid for it. Because <laughs> I really hate how I can't play a lot of games that I played when I was younger. Did you ever play Club Penguin? Yes, I did. I played before they made everything premium. I also played a lot of the Disney games. I think my favorite was Pixie Hollow. Wow. I love those games. It's because I really like games where you're building something and you can see things progress with time. I think that's why I like base building games. Games like this that have that similar mechanic. I think that's why I'm like so into Supermarket Simulator. I played how many hours the past two days? Don't ask. But... It's because I like seeing things, like, grow and improve, and it feels like I'm doing something. There are people bringing it back for free? Wait, emulation is bad. Slash J. Ooh, I'm three points away from getting another cat slot. Can I pet my cat? No.
how is my cat not like pissed or shit? <laughs> Genuinely asking. <laughs> Let's go to town. Oh, I can't change my menu. I thought I could. They call it rewritten? Exactly. I broke. I'm gonna buy the basic chair. Just so that we can get rid of this dingy one. Ready for the next day. Oh, the artist was very satisfied. So was the vagabond. Yeah, it's gotta be different types of cats will please different types of people. Not too bad a day. Call irregular. Okay, who should I call? Hmm. So I guess I've unlocked all the characters that I can raise. Let's call Finley, my soon to be girlfriend. Hey. Hi you, thanks for calling. I'll be right over. Yes. Hi. Wait, this girl is cute. bubble tea okay what if when i become a millionaire i open a cat themed boba tea place who would go type one finally project complete more cats we got two more cat limit slots yes Select new project. Okay, okay, okay. Unlocked basic food bowl or obtain the premium canned stray lore. I don't really need that. Unlocks litter boxes. That would be cool, but that's all that can wait. Food. Unlock all these different items. Unlock more food items. I don't think I need those quite yet. Add four chair limits so I can add more chairs, or unlock the community notice board. I think I need to get the notice board first because if I don't have the board, then I can't post that I have stray cats and then the cats die. So let's work towards the notice board. I can unlock more aesthetic things later. I wanna raise up Finley. How are you liking life in the boonies, Peason? It's much better now that you're here. No, stay longer. Come on. Yo. <laughs> she can loiter as much as she wants. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah.
I want to get more tables. I do. I do hope once I get more tables, then more people will keep coming in. I don't think I've been able to buy tables from the shop anyway. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Which cat should I get? Because I can adopt two. Which one should I get? Whoever times first gets to choose. I personally like this one. But the black cat? Middle? I was thinking, I think the witches will like the black cat. You've won this cat's trust. Why is he called Brian? <laughs> it's so funny when people name cats human names. You adopted a stray. Brian, level one. Yay! We now have two cats. Mm -hmm. My cat's name is Lemon? That's so cute. If we ever get a cat, we're gonna name it Gary. Like from Spongebob. Man, I wish I could pet the cats. Oh wait, I kind of am. Wait, I did! What? I lied. How'd I do that? Okay, that didn't work. Okay, day six, things are going pretty smoothly. I gained a little over 20 desire. That's a pretty good rate, so that means every five-ish days I'll unlock something new. A nice table, 145? Bro. Thank goodness I have enough food. It is kind of interesting how you don't have one single form of currency. I kind of like how you have to get different resources. You can't just willy-nilly buy things. Still rank D. These nuts. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't buy any lures because I'm broke. Oh, I'm betting it. Can we keep it? I love going to cat cafes, but then I feel sad because then I can't adopt them. I really want to take them all home. Cliche cat woman. I would have like a million cats when I get old. Okay, they don't like either of my cats. See once I get 50 customers. Oh, I can call a regular. Who am I gonna raise today? I think instead of focusing on one character, I'm gonna gradually try to level everybody up. So I'm gonna get everybody to level one, then level two. Let's call hey. Finley. silly that we're making pretzels in the sink. I know you boil pretzels, but in the sink? It's like the people who make steaks in their washing machine. Don't do it. Why do you 
pee on the floor. Stop. Bad kitty. They should have the cats pee on the customers. That would be really funny. Devs, get on it. Oh my god, Finley! Finley's been here for three hours. Level up! Wait, it said friendship level up. Hi again, Peason. What's good? Cat in the Kettle's a real nice spot to work on my music, it turns out. Hope this isn't too forward, but... I know you only just started with Cat in the Kettle, but so far, what are you most proud of? <laughs> Our income? The cats, of course. I should have known. I can tell you really made this coffee for the cats more than anything else. Gotta be nice to see exactly how your work helps someone, huh? Sometimes I wish I could feel this way... Sometimes I wish I could feel the way about my music as well. But I know what I... But I know I ain't there yet. Gotta work harder. I always get fired up when I'm around people who inspire me, you know. Folks like you or my big sis... Oh my god, I skimmed at first and I thought she called me big sis. You might hear Bonner mention Aaron, my sis. She used to play piano at his home. She'd visit Cat in the Kettle if she could, I think. But she lives a couple villages over now. Can you imagine? There are towns even more secluded than Catterwell around here. And she just had to move to one. She's why I got into music, you know. She works wonders with a piano. I haven't heard her play in a while now. Older siblings sure are nice. Or I'm sure she's proud of what you're working on. Um, I'm sure she's proud. Really? You know, I've never given it a second thought, or a first one at that. I haven't actually told her I'm working on my own music, but once I make a track good enough, I'll be sure to let her hear it. Alright, I'm fired up. I'm gonna make some cool stuff. Good luck with your work too, Beeson. Yes. Received Finley's boombox. Yo. Artist level up. Level 1 to 2. Jewel gain increased. Needs increased. They now want Italian espresso and latte. Uh-oh. But I'm not leveled up. I need to be level 5 chef. Uh-oh. Does it play music? No. can get the crappy toilet. He has no tables or chairs. I don't need the toilet. train What? I don't understand how I'm training. Take a train. 
Grease Monkey, an expert in monkey wrenches, plus two maintenance. Night Owl. When the sun sets, they set to work. 50% all skills after 6 p.m. Or Tea Rific, always a good time for a spot of tea with crumpets, plus two to all skills with at least four pieces of tea room furniture. Are present in the cafe. Uh, maintenance. I don't understand how I'm training. Maybe I just leveled up and didn't know? There's no indicators that you level up. Huh. You can only adopt one more cat. Okay, I've leveled up Finlay. Let's do Carla. I want to unlock her shop more. Good day. Oh, I'd love to visit. Uh, head on now. Maybe I earn skill points at the end of the day, I just never realized. time we can adopt him. I really want to get more tables. Hello, Carla. so quick I'm already at 70 uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. oh yeah the artists give me more payment now Hi. I'm so happy can the kettle has opened up once more nine would be so proud dear why thank you special tea. Seriously, do people, like, not look at the menu? The only time I'll ask if they have something is I'll be like, hey, do you have melon flavor? Because I personally love melon flavor drinks. <gasps> Stray cats. Oh, I think we're gonna adopt one this time. Yes, we can. Okay, since you guys picked last time, I will pick this cat. And I want... Mm... I want Debra. She's so pretty. You adopted a straight. Debra, level one. I leveled up. Maybe my cats can be leveled up too? Wait, they can! <laughs> I have one training point. Let's make them more artistic. Oh, okay. So the artsy people, like, it shows which type of person they like. Or which people like this type of cat. Okay. I got it. That makes sense now. 
Yeah, for now, since I don't have any more cat slots, I should not lure any more cats. Man, 98 desire, I'm so close. I guess the more tasks you do, you earn training points? Maybe now I can unlock the level 5 recipe? Okay. I don't really need any ingredients today. Ooh, big sink! Please have a table. I'm gonna buy the big sink, cause why not? I'm broke. Big sink. Big sink health? 10 out of 10? Since when do sinks have health bars? What I don't like about this game is that it doesn't explain everything. For granted, it, it did explain everything, it would be like, too much. Yeah, I guess it's kind of good to discover stuff on your own. But it's still off-putting. We now have two sinks. Rank C? Yo? Oh, okay, on the on the customer profiles, it shows you the cat trait they like. So for the artist, they want an artsy cat. For the witch, they want a witchy cat. Okay. Got it. And the Vagabonds like the green cats, because they like weed. <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I think I got it now. I think... Before I go into the next day, I'm going to try and advertise to specific people now. Because advertising to everybody isn't really working. Okay, I need less green points. Uh, I don't really need nectar or materials. So we're advertising to artists, fishermen, and businessmen. Oh, maybe the big sink is for different cooking items, because I can't make water at the big sink. Hmm. He's I too, hmm. Hi. Hello, sir. Oh my god, it's pissing again! Stop! In front of the customers, too! Have Stop! They're both doing it! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Staff hiring. Unlock the community notice board. Nice. Ooh, add two cat limit slot. I should work towards that. Okay, next. To unlock. Unlock one regular relationship at level two. Unlock basic food bowl. And then the next after that is more cat slots. 350? Oh my god. That's gonna take forever. <laughs> okay, who's bringing bananas to the cat cafe? No outside food allowed.
Seven desire. That was pretty good. For one customer? Oh, okay. So I noticed when that little red circle came up. Oh, I got a... A skill point. But that... The red icon came up again and I did not get another skill point. That was not the pattern. machine Dude, I bet once you have like five cooking stations, it's gonna get like crazy overwhelming. It'd be like a real restaurant. My <laughs> machine broke again. Uh oh. Why some one day? have infinite cab food I haven't had to buy food Still don't understand the training mechanic. Two town. Okay, I'm not gonna buy any lures until they have more cat slots. Because I don't want to like adopt them out. I'd rather just take them all in. Oh, community note board. Looking for job? Looking for a cat. Great. Okay, okay. Looking for a muse to share my artistic journey with. Anybody know of an artist cat looking for a new home? So I assume, because of 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15, 16 to 20. So the higher level cat they are, the more desire you get from them. Wait. So you're probably incentivized to adopt cats in, level them up, and then give them to people. So it's probably not good to give cats that aren't leveled up to the people. Okay, I, I think I understand it. table finally we can serve more people let's buy a rose bush and some tulips while we're at it. I want to decorate a little bit Alternate rose bushes and tulips. Cute. No, I don't.
cannot believe myself right now. And the chairs are so expensive! I think this setup will be easier. Then I could just run across like this. I cannot believe I sold the fucking chair. Rank C, that's pretty good. God damn. Oh, I can make the Italian espresso. It takes longer. Uh oh. That's gonna get annoying. This is a much better table setup. This is definitely the way to go. And also looks like they're on a little date. I can't believe I sold the chair. It's so cute, the cats are playing with each other. Here comes Carla. Dude, the cat literally peed on the guy that time. It was on the chair. These cats need to learn some manners. Okay, so every time the cat interacts, because the icon up top that has the skill star, it gradually goes up with every single action you do. I think I understand. It doesn't tell you when you earn a skill point though. Hi. <gasps> Level up. Hello again, dear. Today is just lovely, isn't it? Your grand love day is like this as well. She'd stroll around town and cat on each shoulder. Have you adjusted to living in Catterwall? I imagine there are far less garden witches than you're used to in the city. I'm quite taken with Catterwall, actually. Oh, I am pleased to hear it. At this rate, you had best start practicing balancing cats on your shoulder, dear. <laughs> I do hope you feel welcome, dear. Say, if you happen to have any more questions about witches or Catterwall, I would be more than happy to answer them, dear. Ooh, can garden witches do magic? Carla Law spits out her tea, presenting it with a molecular idea of the mid-90s comic technique known as the spit take. I am so sorry. That is such an adorable question. You really do not know much about witches, do you? Magic is a children's story, dear. Witches just make potions to cure a cold, rid you of boils, or make you float a little. We also talk to animals, but that is a closely guarded secret hidden for many generations. Any other questions? Ooh, do you know anything about the cat shrine? Oh, the cat shrine deep in the forest. I heard you were advocating for its renovation. How lovely. I know of it, but I have no idea what it is. The town street cats are quite taken with it, however. They are always lounging around there. I have a vague memory of a scary story the elder witches of my coven used to tell me to keep witchy kids out of the woods. If you ventured too close to the cat shrine, the shadow cat would make you its servant and you would stay in the forest until the end of your days. Someone should really tell the other witches to stop being so spooky all the time. Have there always been witches in Catterwall? Actually, yes. Witches played an important role in the town's history. When the first settlers arrived here, they found the valley home to a tribe of wild cats. The cats hissed and scratched the settlers until they fled. One wise old witch made many sardine sacrifices to appease them. 
Dude, she's just lore dumping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the rest of the story, but I imagine they lived happily ever after. I think I'm um, all out of questions, Carla. Thanks for the pleasant conversation, dear. Now, I have some frogs to visit. Not to talk to them, because I cannot. Goodbye, dear. You received Feel Fine Feline Filter. Magic Aura plus one. They're just giving me random as shit. Witches level up from level one to level two. Nectar gain increased by 15%. Their needs increased. I need four cats and four decorations. They want herbal tea and simple salad. I don't know how to make salad. No. Hopefully I can buy it at the shop. Let's place her a new potion. Right by the s- No, it's so genuinely mad it should not be that easy to sell stuff it's because when I hold my controller my my thumb naturally sits on the B button right and B is sells and it keeps selling can level up. Let's boost my cooking skill. Yeah, I can't learn how to make salad. Still no pet goods. So that probably unlocks with the cat shrine. Buy some more tulips. Oh, potted plants? Those are cute. Okay, don't sell. Oh wait, B is inventory, Y is sell. What? Dude, I'm so bad. <laughs> Rank D. Damn it. Don't worry, today's gonna be a perfect day, everybody. Hello. And learn. <laughs> and learn. I love your accent, sir. I'm gonna check if there's any spills outside. No eye. Definitely, after I unlock the food bowls, I think I need to unlock new dishes to cook. It's gonna be a good handful of days in-game, though. Let's call Bonner.
think I got a rhythm now. I would staff, but I don't think I need to. I don't have enough customers. Oh my god, they're talking to each other! <gasps> Asita? Bottom, my grandpa, but he's not. He has a husband. Hey. A fan of all these tall buildings sprouting up lately. Peg legs walk stairs about as well as eels drive tiny eel sized cars. They can file a complaint with the ADA, they can fix it. Man, our cafe is open till 8 p.m. That's so late. I can level up one of my cats. Pick a trait. Crew, did that cat just burp? Plus one fisherman or pretty? All cats are pretty, but this one is pretty. Plus one artist. Uh, let's make a more versatile plus one fisherman. Oh, we can add skills to the cats. Okay. Let's increase the fishermen. I kind of want them to stay even. And then I need three training points to level up. I think I understand this game now. Hmm. Maybe, cause I know I said I want to keep cats and like level them up to get more desire when I adopt them out. But maybe I- cause like right now I just need to focus on getting any desire that I can. So maybe I'll just keep luring cats and then just send off low levels for adoption. And you know what I do also have to send? Some of you guys to an ad break cause guys we are two hours into stream. Just about two hours into my eight hour shift. So it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. For $4.99 just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a subscription available. Guys, do it. Click subscribe now. I'm also going to verify that the audio is still synced. It's good. Maybe the desyncing issue was like gone? Hopefully? Surely? Back to it. Come on, rank C! <gasps> a rank? Damn! Oh, it's because I had primarily artists and businessmen today. Damn! Good day. 
want to buy some cat lures. She liked it! Things are on the up and up. Got some new strays. Oh, only two left. So this one we're going to adopt out. Oh, Nico is a punk cat. One of the adoption ones wanted a punk cat. You adopted a stray. Wait. <laughs> oh, he can't go inside because I don't have more slots. Oh, wait, he can. What? Wait. I was wrong? Okay, punk man wants a cat. My kid's going through a phase. I think they could really use some company, so we're looking to adopt a pot so we're looking to adopt a punk cat into our home. Um, take Nico. Give a forever home. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, he's there. Do I get my reward? Oh, I did! I'm at 250 desire. Okay. So I guess my strat is to adopt strays. Let's call Bonnie. <laughs> These cats won't stop pissing. Seriously. Oh, you can burn it. So it's probably in my best interest to just keep leveling up the cats that I have in the cafe. Work towards having a cat that has every single trait. Or work towards having cats of at least one of every kind of trait. And then just adopt out whatever strays that I lure throughout the days. He said, how are you faring today? I gotta say, you strike me as a real adventurous type. Real late before you look sort. Um, not really, sir. <laughs> Remind me of my dear husband Gavin, you do. He'd much rather be reading maps than drawing them. All cooped up in that dusty library of his. <laughs> Yes, he's a trusty lad, but he's my dusty lad. I'm sure the two of ye get along brilliantly. Say, you wouldn't happen to be thirsty for a story, would ye? I filled up to my beard with um. What sort of story do you want to hear? An exciting tale or a bizarre adventure? Let's do an exciting tale. Why even ask? Let me think. Once I found myself in pursuit of treasure. Problem was I was quite lost. As lost as a... As lost as a sailor in a grocery store. I'll keep listening. 
Uh, anyways, I was lost in this grocery store looking for pomegranates, you see. Gavin, my husband, was upset, and nothing comforts the man like a palm mimosa. Didn't find the blasted fruit, though. Davina, I went home. And there was Gavin, all smiles, fixing me up a gimlet. Poor lad had to cheer me up. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very exciting, was it? It was a nice story. Oh, this old man's happy to hear. I bet I best let you get back to work. Be seeing ye, he said. Received picture of Nain. Okay, I will not throw the painting away. I will not throw it away. Fisher folk, level up. They want pretzels and ham sandwiches. We can now take in Ezra. You adopted a stray. Ezra, level one. Stray lure mastered. You have adopted every cat that is attracted to the canned stray lure. To adopt more cats, build a different lore at the Pet Emporium. To unlock new lures for purchase, get the stray lure upgrades at the shrine. Um, okay. Meow. Let's hang up the picture and not sell it. That's me, Grandmama. Lane. Not lame, it's lane. Can we adopt back the cat? Okay, if I can have four cats in my cafe, I'll, I'll keep them. I'm not going to give them away. I thought I could only have three. Okay, once you adopt out a cat, you can't level it up anymore. Let's level up Ezra. I can't lure anymore. Oh. Dang it, I should not have adopted out that cat then. I didn't know. Shit. Well. Now I know. No more adopting out cats. Wide counter. Um, cash register. Oh, he has so many good things today. Oh, I can buy the chair because that's only 50. Wide counter. I'm going to buy it. I don't know what it's for, though. Hopefully now I can seat more people. Yeah, this looks like a salad bar. Rank B? Not too bad. I think I'm gonna change my advertising again.
Let's see, I need jewels still. I also need witches. I don't need fish. I don't really need gold. I'll need materials. You're advertising to everybody but fishermen, because I can't buy anything with the fish now. I signed out Marquette's, yes sir? But I also can't lure anymore, unfortunately. I, I kind of cooked myself. I really should not have adopted that cat away. I think I want to expand my restaurant. I want to make it taller. Wait, where'd the window go? Okay, it's saved. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, I'm out of materials. She. I sold it. And we're gonna move the bowls back here. business. Okay, it doesn't seem like we're getting any more customers, which is kind of an L. I want more people. machine that never breaks that would be nice now that we live a little bonner let's call mateo The dates seem to be going by faster, at least. We're getting more people. I'm really close to unlocking the food bowls. Stop pissing. Hello, Mateo. Day 13, just about two weeks in. Let's go. You unlocked food bowls. Food bowls one unlocks basic food bowl. Who unlocked premium canned stray lure? need the litter boxes. I think I need to oops. I need to unlock the food recipes, I think. Let's see. Cold brew coffee, latte, root beer. 
Ham sandwich, veggie sandwich, simple salad. Oh, so ham sandwiches and simple salads will be upcoming, so I need to unlock this next. Because our people want salads, and then fishermen want ham sandwiches. Got it. Ta -ta! Siri, please put me on the Do Not Disturb from Peason. Thanks, dear. Leave the master alone, meat face. <laughs> what? Am I the master? Huh? Okay. See, I can level up now. Let's level up my cooking. Because I'm going to have to cook soon. Oh! Okay, I don't need another table. I need chairs right now. I can't buy nothing. Basic food bowl. Serves three cats. Little food bowl serves two cats. Oh. Okay, so you're probably gonna want to get the basic food bowl whenever you have, like, a lot of cats in your restaurant. But I only have four. So I only truly need two cat bowls. I can save up and buy that later. I think I truly understand this game now. I got it. Took me, what, two hours? Frank C! I had like four more customers than normal. That's pretty good. Yeah, I need to buy more chairs. I'm really sad that I can't lure more cats though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's ring Mateo. Oh, I don't have the tea unlocked. They just get water? <laughs> Sorry, man. We do not have tea. We have water. Man, feels bad, man. <laughs> you know, I'm trying my best. I, I don't know how to make the tea. I'm new here. You know who else we've been you know who else is new here? The people lurking. Guys, if you're new here, click follow. Turn that heart purple. You get to tap in chat and you get new emotes. I forgot to tell you guys to follow at all today, so um do it! Dang, that girl gave me 31 jewels, holy moly. She must be rich. Which is unheard of for an artist. Friendship level up. Siri, tell me today's International Bountiful Breaks Day. Fake corporate holidays aside, looks to me like you've earned yourself a little break, bud. Honestly, I could probably use a few more breaks myself. But you know, all that hustle life, am I right? Um, what sort of work do you do, Mateo? Founder of Mateo and Mateo Management Meats. We make a uh, conducive CMS systems. Now, rather than boring both of us by explaining what that even means, Siri, babe, hit us up with the jingle. Mateo and Mateo Management Meats fulfills your content management system dreams. A CMS so hot, so cool. It smokes cigars and it skips school. TM. 
we're a small business in that we is really just me at this point, but we that is I do okay for ourselves, parentheses, myself. In fact, a while back we landed a big new client, Comparable Acquisitions. I've been helping them set up here in Caterwaul. We're gonna drag this little town into the 21st century, baby. Pocketboat can still be a bit of a hawkish client, though. It's been a, a, a bit stressful. Speaking of stress, you got me wondering, does Peason have any hobbies? Uh, alright, I wasn't actually wondering that, but still, the question stands. I have a lot of hobbies. I like streaming and gaming and drawing. Terrific. It's important to find needlessly elaborate ways to get out your mind off of work, isn't it? Me? I've got too many dang things. Geocaching? Extreme ironing? Competitive duck herding? Actually, I just got this sweet do-it-yourself kombucha kit. I can't wait to sit there and wait for my stinky drink to grow molds or whatever. <laughs> Cats are my hobby. <laughs> you have time for all these hobbies? <laughs> Busted, I sure do not. Honestly, I spend more time online buying stuff to start new hobbies than actually doing any of them. Wait, too real. Maybe finding new hobbies is my hobby? Siri, add that to my not sure if totally okay or existential crisis list. Just add it directly below. I still find farts funny. Thanks, babe. Suddenly, Mateo's phone rings with the sound of an incense. Suddenly, Mateo's phone rings with the sound of an incessant buzzard. Oh, big bad climb time! I gotta get this piece in. Mateo's phone conversation quickly devolves into a landslide of inscrutable buzzwords. You leave him be. You receive dubious motivational poster. Dead dream. <laughs> Business people level up from level one to level two. Their needs increased. I got four new chairs. They now want Italian espresso and cold brew coffee. Got it, boss. Let's hang up the poster and not sell it. Easy. I wonder if I serve people faster, they give me more money. Also, how is there no tipping in the game? These cats are so brazen, pissing right in front of me. My goodness. Only five more desire? Then I level up. Project complete. Lunchtime. You unlocked all these new recipes. Okay, I should unlock the advanced brews because they're going to want cold brew soon. Kim, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. My day's been going pretty good. You know, working the day away. Wait, it's 11.16. I missed 11.11. Dang it. Imagine going back to work. I know. Oh, wait. I'm gonna go back to work. Never mind. I miss red. Bye, Kim. <laughs> Let's level up a cat. I think I want to make all my cats well-rounded, so they're all going to have at least level 1 skill, level 2 skills. Dang, I really shouldn't have let Nico go. Tartar sauce.
Okay, requires fridge, cutting board, cooking skill level five. Oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> I only got 91 potion points. Okay, I gotta change who I advertise to first. I'm gonna do that first so I don't forget. We're only gonna advertise to witches. And artists. Because I'm gonna need furniture. Oh, it costs so much. I'm gonna need 300, so about 200 more jewels. Dang. Get the recipe. Oh, is it really okay? Is it really gonna keep showing the alerts here? That's so stupid. Oh, that's annoying. That's gonna be annoying. stone here. Little path to the door. I can't place it on the grass? This game's dumb. Frank C. Sad. Man, his Dare to Dream poster is so cringe. It looks like a child drew it. I should probably save, huh? Is there no autosave in this game? Oh no! <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's call Arwell. Hi. We finally got a punk. I'm sorry, ma'am, we do not have tea, but I can give you water. Well, we got more people coming in now that I have a fifth chair. We're gonna make so much money. I'm gonna move the radio before I trip on it. We are bustling. Why is the pretzel at the other sink? Thank you. 
be a pretty good day. I'm level nine, dang. Let's see, I have 141 potion. I'm gonna buy the ingredients first. I got 91 left. Okay, let's buy the cutting board. I have 125 left, so I need 25 more. I can get another table. I should buy the table when it's in stock. Because it's not, he doesn't have tables and chairs every day. Okay. Now let's redecorate. I'm gonna place the table here for now. And I'm gonna keep gradually building out my actual establishment. Crew, did that cat just burp? Plus one fisherman or slightly magical. Sometimes they float off the ground. Maybe plus one witches. Let's do witches. Can you get in there? Come on, give me a B. See? Oh, Arwell was not happy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have any punk cats. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, I just noticed the game does autosave bottom right at the end of every day. So I don't have to manually save. I assume you want the big sink, that way when you have stuff, you can both use it at the same time. That's my guess. Only nine more points until I unlock... A new item. Or a new shrine. Oops. I skipped it, but I unlocked the drink recipes. Okay, these are new recipes. I don't think I really need those right now. Service. Add four chair limit slots. Add more chairs. Probably add more chairs is good. I don't need the decorations yet. That'll be the last thing I touch. need the litter box. I don't mind cleaning up for now because I'm not too busy. I think I need to get more slots, more chairs. Let's ring up Arwell.
These cats will not stop peeing. <laughs> Hello, Arwell. Are you gonna chat today? Guess not. Not much for talking, huh? Man, you look like an artist with the green hair. This one cat in the kettle was an empty field. It was perfect for spinning donuts. Hey, this is my grandmother's land. How dare you admit to doing illegal crimes in my field? What's the statute of limitation? Like five years? Big sink broke down. Man, I can do it all. I can cook, I can clean, I can fix, I can rinse. A really good day. I only have 176. Like I said, oh my goodness, there's so many ingredients. Sixty-six left. Okay, I have at least one of every ingredient, but I don't have recipes. Okay. <laughs> um maybe tomorrow. I can buy the fridge now. I don't need a coffee machine. I need chairs. Dang it, the one day has a chair and broke. I need to invite the vagrants again. Yeah, nothing new at the pet shop. Cats can still access their food by going through the bank. Wait, no, they're trapped. <laughs> it's fine. They can get back there. It's fine. Oh, it costs 20 material now. They're scamming. <laughs> okay. If the cats can't reach the food, oh well. Oh well. They can just squeeze through the ovens. Wait, is that guy actually stuck? <laughs> um. Oh, he is stuck? <laughs> oh, I forgot. I don't need the table yet. Let's put it away. I'm sorry, now you can get through. Oh, he's still stuck because of the radio. Shit. Um. Ah. <laughs> it's put the fridge here. No, oh, this is a disaster. Okay, this should be fine now. Yo. Mm. 
This place needs to be bigger. Alright, let's call Arwell. He should level up today. Got a snack? I should have a snack soon, probably, yeah. What time is it? 11? Yeah, because you usually have my break four hours on. More seats. You added four chair limit slots. Let's go. Wait, why do I need a toilet? <laughs> I don't need a toilet. Okay, this is more seats and more high rank. I don't necessarily need either of those right now. I think I'm going to work on upgrading the cat stuff. Increase my cat limit. Oh, I need to... It says requirements. Have five regular relationships at level two and two regular relationships at level three. That means I have to level up my my friends. That sucks. Ah, right, let's get the litter boxes. You having fruit for a snack? That's too healthy. I don't know, I don't see myself sitting down and eating a bowl of fruit. That's too adult for me. I guess unhealthy meal, healthy snack. Valid. Valid. You just moved here, right? My condolences. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Ardo. Jerk. Actually, I hate him. Customers today? Dude, the cat literally pissed on me. <laughs> the townsfolk, filled with delight, have helped a lot in restoring the cat shrine. You decide to go take a look. A pair of eyes peer at you from the edge of the clearing. Reading was once more a little thing. I see you have taken my advice to heart. An unexpected turn of events. Humans tend to ignore a cat's advice. As a reward, I will answer but one of the little thing's questions, which no doubt quiver upon its inquisitive lips. I can ask what are you or why is this shrine important? He might not answer what are you, so I'll ask why is it important. The shrine itself is of little importance. What the shrine stands for, however, is. Many moons ago, this shrine was built by humans. Humans like yourself. But a cruder, ruder sort. At first, they wished simply to share the valley with the cats that already called it their home. They built the shrine to remind themselves of that fact. But it came to mean a lot more. Something I wish for the humans of this valley to remember. For restoring the shrine, you deserve my thanks. I shall place many dead birds at your door. 
Um, please note, I sell food at my door. You have no say in this matter. Mangled bird deliveries are sacred duty. That is enough questions from Yao. I will seek you out again, once this shrine is looking more restored. And one more thing, little thing. Keep your eyes on those hawks. Those hawkable acquisitions, humans. It is not the first time such humans came to this valley, and it did not end well that time either. Rather than leave, it seems as if the light and the clearing fades for a moment. Oh, why does it say Grimalkin when that's in the narrator? <laughs> okay. Rather than leave, it seems as if the light and the clearing fades for a moment, after which the black cat is simply gone. Ooh, drama. A pretty good haul today. I can level myself up. Pick a trait. Hipster. I'm sure you never heard of them. Plus two to all skills on at least four pieces of hipster furniture present in the cafe. Gourmad. You enjoy cooking food almost as much as you enjoy making it. Plus two cooking. Chance of using less ingredients when cooking. Ooh, that's pretty good. Need Freak. A champion of dusting. Plus two cleaning. Let's do gourmad. That was pretty good. Let's level up Brian. The cats are so cute when they're sleeping. I'm gonna buy more herbs because the witches keep ordering herbal tea. No chairs? I already have one of everything, so I don't need any more equipment. I'll save my money. to the next day. Come on, give me a B. C. Ding. Oh, Arwell should level up today. Okay, hi. I'm gonna expand my restaurant a little bit. Forgot to do it last night. Okay, I expanded it by one square. Ardle's here! Is it Ardo? Arwell? Nintendo is having an open for Mario Kart 8 on Mario 10 day from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. The top 3 to 10 players get a thousand Nintendo gold points. <laughs> Wait, I would fail so bad. I would title the stream failing, getting last place. Wait, maybe I'll do that. Did they do something like that last year? Oh, I unlocked the shrine. Very nice. Now I have litter boxes. That could be funny. Okay. <laughs> what day is Mario? It's Sunday, right? <laughs> Getting this place. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do it. Um, Mac, if you could, if, if they made like a Twitter post, send me or DM me on Twitter. I don't. I've never heard of it, so, so I'm I'm gonna forget by the end of stream. Oh, 
Arwell. You're doing the thing with words again. Uh, take a hike, kid. Arwell stares you down. <laughs> take that hike! <laughs> Let's do a staring contest. Are we smiling? Okay, I get it. Stop freaking me out. Not, not easily scared off, huh? If you're gonna stick around, I got thoughts. The cats are badasses, but I honestly can't with the food here. Didn't take you for a chef, Arwell. Chef? This ain't about refined technique, kid. The scrub lacks oomph, funk, should spa. It doesn't crawl up my throat and yell, here I am, I am food, you'll eat me, or something. It's half-assed. But it's real close to full-assed. You gotta grab that full-ass by the horns, you feel? I feel ya, Arwell. That's right, you do. Cooking's all about feeling, you know. Look, kid. I'll be honest with you. This town's in trouble. It's that hockey be It's that hawkable corporation. They're beginning their dirty talons all up in everyone's business. I'll be first to admit, I ain't clever enough to do figure out what I'll be first to admit, I ain't clever enough to figure out what they're all planning on doing, but I know I ain't gonna like it. We must stop them somehow. We gotta stop them some- Hey, quit stealing my cool line. But, you're right, pal. This town's the pits. A total hole. But it's my hole, damn it. Blush. <laughs> what I'm saying is, the way this cafe's going, Hawkable's just gonna buy you up like the rest of this darn town. That's why I gotta do something about this food. And I guess I'll help. Now shut up and pay attention. I will spend some time talking about cooking techniques. You're not sure you got it all, but appreciate his enthusiasm. You received Pretty Girl Gun Cat Model. Entertainment one, tech one, expensive one. Yo! Punks level up. Level one to two. Their needs increase to three, and they're gonna want cold brew soon. Vampire's leveled up! Level one to two. Four candles? What is candles? They're gonna want veggie sandwich and pretzel soon. Okay. Very nice. Let's hang up his anime figurine. Now, I'm not gonna sell it. I'm not gonna sell it. Wait. I just wanted to rotate it. I just wanted to see. Anyway, back to work. worker soon. It's getting hard to keep up with all the orders now. It's not difficult. It's just one customer after another now. Which is good. I think I should wait a bit more. Oh, I can't make you a veggie sandwich. I'm sorry, sir. smoothly. I'm not getting any witches now. I only barely got any. chairs. I don't need anything. I'm broke. 
Dang, I can't buy shit. Floral litter box. I wonder what the buffs are for the cat decorations. Maybe the cats level quicker? I will buy one cat bed. And then now I also have to advertise to fishermen. Yeah, I'm gonna need more tables. Dang. It really sucks that I accidentally sold that one chair. I think I'm ready for the next day. You know what else I'm ready for? An ad. Because guys, we are three hours in the stream, three hours into my shift, so it's time for you to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99. Just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your as a Prime Day Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a subscription available. Do it now. Also, I think in an hour, I'm going to take my 30-minute break. Because I'm getting a little bit hungry. On to the next day. Okay, C rank ain't too bad. Another day, another dollar. Hi. Let's call Mateo. I want the cat to fall asleep, please. Fall asleep. like my cafe makes a lot of money every day that way you don't have to worry about any resources oh he likes the chair <laughs> are you gonna order anything sir mateo oh right when i walk away huh jerk Ooh, this guy wants to chat oh my god he loves me ew Stop. Order something, sir, before I kick you out. My company is called Mateo, and Mateo is what it means. Why Mateo and Mateo? I figure it'd sound good if I had a partner. And Mateo is just a good name. Mateo is literally so dumb. Okay, at least this guy ordered something. He did not come just to hit on me. Thank you, sir. Should hire a worker now. I think I'll do that the next day. Why did the guy change so much? He came back. Do we need to print off a picture of him? Be like, do not serve.
The cats have not once touched the bed. We spent so much money on that. They aren't even sleeping in the bed! Come on! Okay, no more beds for them. Yeah, we're not buying the cats any more toys. Mm-mm. Finally a chair. I'm gonna buy the table that he now that he has it. sandwich because somebody asked for that the other day and I didn't have it. Okay, we're no longer advertising to fishermen because they're dumb. Advertising to punks because I need materials. Oh, I was going to hire somebody too. I have two extra tables. So ideally, you're going to want at least one of every type of furniture. Let's go hire somebody. So service, cooking. Yeah, service and cooking. Let's see, looking for a job. My dad owned a bar, so I know my way around them. Can I see what the trait is? No. And one cooking, two serving skill. Cooking. Like a job. The Earth Mother has told me to. What? They sound like a crystal mommy. I'm looking for work. I'm positively excellent at swatting customers who do not uphold proper decorum. Two cooking, one serving. Hmm. Looking for job. What ho, daddy -o? Let me just park my sweet ride and we can start grooving. <laughs> I think right now I want a server. I'm looking for a job. Big chain stores are so last year. Bespoke artisan cafes is where it's at. Oh, they want to be a cook though. Let's do Steve. <laughs> he sounds enthusiastic. Hired staff. Okay, staff. Oh, it takes my skill points too? Okay, greaser. Born with a pompadour will die in a leather jacket. Plus two to all skills when at least four pieces of diner furniture is present in the cafe. Oh, Steve is here. Hi, Steve. Let's see how you perform on your first day tomorrow. B rank? That's pretty good. Most everybody's leaving happy now. I think I understand now. Who is serving? Any cooks? I love this. Can I fire him? No, I cannot fire him. 
I can just let him do all the work. I can't make salads yet. Mail will be date. I forgot. Okay. Oh, they're mad. Oh yeah, because I don't have salads. <laughs> Well, I'm trying my best. Okay, Steve has a problem of taking my customers. If I'm already standing there, do not take my order for him. This is going smoothly. Friendship up. Level 3. Peace soon. Frendo! You look like you can really use someone unloading their anxieties on you. No, I hate trauma dumpers. Lucky for you, I just so happen to have some primo anxieties waiting for unloading. You know, are well. Big eyebrows, big hair, big anime TV co You know, are well. Big eyebrows, big hair. Big anime DVD collection he thinks no one knows about. I like to think we're real close. We grew up together, you know. We ran roughshod all over town. Ah, the amount of times we relieved Bonner of his prized fishing beanie. If Arwell ever tells you we're still not best buds, that's our little in joke, okay? Arwell's such a joker. Anyway, Arwell found out that I'm helping Hokubo set up shop here in town. He didn't take too kindly to. Called me a no good parent lover. I think he meant it as an insult. I think I should be hurt by that. Tell me, Peason. Do you think it's bad for me to work with Hockable? Ooh, it's a good thing. That's not for me to say, or I definitely think it's not great. Um, the cat spear told me it's bad. I'm gonna say it's definitely not great. I honestly do not understand. We both love this town, don't we? When I was a kid, my father took me to this city. The tall buildings took my breath away. Look up there, little Mateo, he said, as he pointed at the gleaming upper floors of those spires. We have it good, but up there is where folks want for nothing. Powderwall is my hometown. I understand that old folks like Bonner and Gavin can settle for it staying just the way it is, but... Let us be honest. Caterwall is on its way out. People leave. Cats roam the streets. I'm not stupid. I know Hawkable isn't just here because it has Caterwall's best interests in mind. But I honestly believe working with Hawkable is the only way to make sure this town has a future. I'll have to think this over, bud, but thanks for being honest with me. You received an executive beanbag chair. <laughs> Comfort 15, cool 2, expensive 2. Oh, wow. Businessmen have a 20% increase of gold. They have 4 needs, 7 dishes, increased seats, I don't know what the 5 tiles. They now want lattes and cheese platters. Oh, no. Let's place that beanbag. Man, my cafe just has random stuff. Oh, it goes on the wall? What? Oh, it's a chair! Ooh! Okay, I'm gonna put in my inventory for now. I need to rearrange.
I can have four seeds. There's so much clutter. Yeah, I'm gonna move this sink to the end. Because I already have a sink in the middle. Oh, my restaurant's not tall enough. Yeah, we need like a whole another row back here to fit a 4x4. Four four for tables with four seats. place the bean bag chair. There we go. Oh, why is it facing that way? Oh, there we go. Okay. It was sticking out too much. Now I think I'm ready. We just need one more row of tiles across the back. The cafe's really coming together. I know. Just give it a more give it more time. One downfall to these base building games is that it takes a good like five hours to like know what you need to do. What I did notice is that Steve does not clean up spills. He's not a good worker. I don't want to be cleaning up piss and shit. I'm the owner for God's sake. Pick a trait, pretty. All cats are pretty, but this one is pretty. Plus one artist skill, or... Weirdo, expect this little weirdo to make a mess. Plus two bladder needs and plus three witches. And this one has better buffs. Plus two weirdo. Pick a trait, Chonker. Look at this absolute unit. Plus two food need, but plus three fishermen. Mug, real pleased with themselves for cat reasons. This one has a better buff, so let's do Fisherman. He doesn't get paid enough? I don't think he gets paid at all. There's been, like, no invoice for the server. So honestly, valid. Okay, right now, I don't think I need artists. Yeah, right now... I need green, because I have 400 jewels. Yep, nothing new in the pet shop. I think the, the cash register has to just be aesthetics. Buy some tulips. Can I buy the toilet? I'm gonna wait on the toilet still.
Oh, I can probably place a table here on the side. There we go. Very nice. One more table. Come on, give me a B. Tartar sauce. Dude, why is my fridge so grungy? We need to do some glee. We need to do some deep cleaning around here. fire Steve but I can't yeah okay, I'm not letting him do anything I just like going fast <laughs> yeah I couldn't find anything to let me fire the employee in the UI so maybe I just didn't find it or the game doesn't want me to More customers. Let's call Arwell because it seems like he has beef with Mateo, and I want to see the drama. Station one. You got all these new decorations. Very nice. Yeah, I think I can do the cat limit one. Oh, I need two relationships at level three. Dang it. Okay, I guess I will work towards the food then. Yeah, because businessmen are winner businessmen are gonna want cheese platters soon. Offer to help you out, but turns out I don't care. Dang, he's such a jerk, but I love him. As a friend. Good day. Let's level up Steve. Do I really need to level up Steve? Um Honestly no. Oh I can't I can't exit out of it. Shit. I guess I have to level up Steve. Well. 
Let's go shopping. Basic scratch post. Relaxation 3. So that one actually has a buff. Entertainment 1. Playtime 3. Okay, so the toys actually have buffs. I guess we'll invite Fisherman again. Another chair. I have a hundred and eighty five potion. I've unlocked all the recipes now. Can't find many ingredients, but I'll buy herb because I'm always gonna need herb. Okay, so I'm no longer gonna add for tithe to vagrants. I need fishermen again. I can expand my restaurant finally. Plus 21? I'm so poor. These cats look like they're cuddling. That's so cute. Okay, I think this is all good now. I think we're gonna build my restaurant out horizontally and not vertically. That way I can just keep on building more tables. Okay, I think I'm ready for another day. Rank C, not too bad. the cat blocked Yo. I think this cat is dumb <laughs> why do all the fishermen want to chat with me they're just yamping Hello. probably because they spend all day on their boats by themselves their wife doesn't love him anymore <laughs>
Yeah, only the fishermen are yapping. At least they give me more tips. Okay, I'll be honest. Whenever a service worker does, like, chit-chat a bit, I will tip them more. Because <laughs> I know they're, like, doing good at their job. Okay, how is this cat blocked? This cat is just dumb. Maybe I need an extra space in between the chairs? I'd offer the help out, but turns out I don't actually care. Something I've noticed too with the dialogue in the game, sometimes it'll have question marks when the question doesn't when the comment doesn't seem like a question. It's weird. Okay, I think I'm gonna expand my restaurant one tile. That way I can have an extra space between the chairs, because I think that's how the cats are getting blocked. Even though it doesn't make sense, I'm gonna add another room. Oh, I just took her out of her chair. Oopsie. Oh, she left! I'm sorry. <laughs> that was kind of rude of me, I'll be honest. What? How? It's still blocked! Oh, it can't reach the bed. I'm DOM. There you go. All for naught. I made them leave for nothing. Okay, not too bad a day. Decided I'm gonna buy chairs whenever I see them and tables. Increases every single time. It's annoying. Give me a B. Sad. How is this cat still blocked? Maybe this section back here? I think that's what it means. Oh well, I don't care. Hello. No me importa. Our <laughs> wall takes so long to level up. It's almost like he doesn't want to be my friend. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. 
What is kind of nice is that me and the worker can serve both people and we don't get the orders mixed up. That is very nice. This Mateo dude won't leave me alone. How can one human contain that many words? They're beefing! I wonder if the cats get tired. I also noticed that my server does not chat with the fishermen. Steve must not be their type. I guess not all fishermen are gay. <laughs> Okay, now this is getting to be a lot. I'm kind of glad I have Steve now. You know what, Steve? You do good work. I'll admit it. It is even better that you're working for free. Oops. He just left. train Steve. I'll only level up Steve when I gotta train myself, so. Looking good. I'm gonna need businessmen again. I'm gonna change that now so I don't forget. No nothing today. Try and make sure I have at least ten of every ingredient. And we got the scratching post now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep building out horizontally. Looking good. Give me a B. Come on. Hello. What if I just pet the cats all day? Now things are picking up. 
Oh, I didn't. I didn't finish the sandwich. Project complete. Party lunch. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do the more cats because I don't have two relations at level three yet. I don't want to unlock the premium lore until I unlock more cat slots. There's, there's got to be a way for me to see my limit, though. I'll work on recipes. Granny's notebook. Strays. Staff. Regulars, no. Cats. Oh! It says my limit here. I can get one more cat. I guess my limit, I started off with three because I increased it by two before. Huh? Okay, so I guess I can lure cats again. I'll unlock that soon. I don't want to do it too soon. Hey, Steve, what are you doing, sir? Steve Steve is doing nothing. I should just fire him. He does nothing. Uh. Okay, we're falling behind, Steve. Pick it up. Don't bother me. I'm thinking about food. Maybe I need to hire another worker. This is getting to be a lot now. Nothing I can't handle, though. All my cats are level two. I'm gonna get one of every cat decoration. Going to buy another table since he has it. Oh, more recipes? Oh, I forgot. Okay, I need cheese platter first. I need cooking skill level 8. I didn't see that. Okay, so I'm out of money! I don't think I'm even close to level 8. Oh, level 14. My cooking is at level 6, though. Ooh. 
Okay, I need to work on leveling up that then. I also need to increase my seat limit soon too. Twenty-seven materials. Dang. Now I think I have like the perfect rhythm. I'm speed running. Steve, what are you doing? He's just standing there. Orwell is so close to leveling up, he's so annoying. Maybe I should just stay in the kitchen. Because I'm faster at cooking than Steve is. Oh, Steve is so annoying. seeing you here in your place of work. Are you here to judge your new dishes or what's up, Arbo? Are you here to judge your new dishes, Arbo? They stink. As in, the qualitative meaning of stink. They actually smell quite nice. Still lacking in punch, though. Uh, like quanti qualitative punch. I could take this food in a fight if I tried, though. Anyhow. I gotta get your opinion on a thing. So, I was arguing with my pal, uh, Jim... Jimbus? My, my good pal, Jimbus. He's, uh, studying to be a chef like me. We argued about what's important in a kick-ass meal. I say, Jimbus, my good friend, it's obviously your ingredients. Get them fresh and chunky and hunky, and your dish will be delish. Now, Jimbus is like... Oh, Arwell, you're so smart, but without proper technique, those ingredients wouldn't matter one bit. So who's right? Me or Jimbus? Okay, you're right. Ingredients are most important. Jimbus is spot on. Technique is what matters. It's something else. Say what, what's Jimbus's last name. <laughs> okay, we don't want to call him for the lie. Um, it's something else. It's called love. Think you know more about me and Jimbus, my real friend? Combined, huh? What is it? It's love! Oh my god, I was right! It's a love! Love is the secret ingredient? I thought that was just an anime thing. <laughs> Thanks for giving me your take. I already have tons of real friends, like Jingus. But I wouldn't mind if he, but I wouldn't mind if you wanted to tell folks we're pals. We're pals, pal. Oh, <laughs> all right, pal. I uh, I used to butt around with Mateo too when we were little kids, but he got all weird. Stopped being into burning trash for fun. Started being into burn rates, whatever those are. And now he's offered the town up to Hawkable. I'm surprised he didn't get the golden platter out yet. Suddenly, Arvin looks quite tired. I gotta go. Bye.
You received Dummy Hog, Cool 2, Entertainment 2. Punks, level up. 25% material gain. Needs increased to 5. They're gonna want strawberry milkshake and fish and chips soon. My goodness. Let's put up that hot rod now. Yo! It's green too, I love green! Our world's so cool. cooking doesn't take too long. <laughs> My goodness, there's so many things to make. <laughs> I didn't forget about you, sir. No, no. Steven just standing there. You're not on your union break. Project complete. Shakes and more. More recipes unlocked. Okay, since I got level two friendship with Arwell, I can unlock more cat slots now. I'll do that. 750 desire? Sheesh. Pretty good day. I need to level up my cooking. Pick a trait. Neat freak. A champion of dusting plus two cleaning. Barfly. Has a vague but strong fondness for the color brown. Plus two to all skills when at least four pieces of bar furniture are present in the cafe. Tea Rippic. Always a good time for a spot of tea with crumpets. Plus two to all skills when at least four pieces of tea from furniture is present in the cafe. I'll do these buffs because those are more versatile. I'll do bar fly because I think I have bar stools right now. Increase my cooking skill. Let's go shopping. I'm broke. Milkshake machine. I can buy it. Okay, we're gonna have to invite the artists and vagrants again. Ooh, tulips. I want to do tulips and roses all along the front of my restaurant. Oh, wow. Um, oh my goodness, there's a lot. Like I said, I'm going to unlock ingredients first. Thank goodness nothing expires. Milkshake machine. I'm gonna wait on the fisherman. I don't need the cat decorations just yet. But I kind of need everything else. I'm broke. Ok, 
Okay, I think everything is good. Let's save here. And you know what? It's 12.45. I think it's time for my 30 minute break. So I'm gonna go heat up my lunch. And it's about time for me to write an ad anyway. So while I do that, I'm gonna write an ad. So if you want to avoid that ad, all you must do is subscribe for $4.95, just $5. Keep your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or you can link Yammer Surprise to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a subscription available. I'm gonna put out a little YouTube video. That way you guys have like something to watch. Let's pick a classic piece. Wait, what the hell? Wait, look at this. What the hell? Wait, it's not capturing. Over right here. Oh, wait, you guys can't see it. My most recent YouTube video has 236 views. What the hell? Wait, actually, how? <laughs> wait, what? Now it's my... What? It's my third most viewed YouTube video now. What? Dude, I hate YouTube. I think it's because I put muck. Man, that's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, which one do you guys want to watch? Let's do latest. We haven't done this stream in a while, so... We have a lot of videos to watch. We should just make a playlist and we watch them in order. Um... Let's see. Cooking chat. I think this one's a good one. This one's well-rounded. It's got cooking and commentary. Okay, I'm gonna go heat up my food, so I will be right back. And take this ad. Bozos. Okay. And I'll put a timer on my phone when I get back from my heating up my lunch. So here's the video. Since I don't have a date, which I never will because I'm on my incel art, okay. I'm gonna make lunch for you guys. I'm going to make salmon, mashed potatoes, and then chocolate dipped strawberries. That is the menu for today. My goal is to get this done in like an hour because it'll be like an actual like lunch date. And then as we're cooking, I do have a list of like icebreaker questions so we can do like a little, a little RP today. I usually bake my salmon at 425. Cause I like a quick and high bake. I just have fresh, never frozen salmon. But when I went to the store this morning, they had some of these in the frozen section. <laughs> They're clickbaiting, I don't know. Now what I love about fish is that it's so easy to make. Salmon is so hard to make good. No, it's literally so easy. You just have to, if possible, get a fresh cut. Frozen isn't gonna nearly taste as rich. And you just have to make sure you don't over bake it. I'm only cooking for myself in chat, but since you guys can't actually eat, I'm not gonna like wear gloves unless I need to. I usually wear gloves for like sensory reasons, like I hate touching raw food and just in general it's not sanitary, right? Now this package has two salmon fillets in it. I'm gonna season them slightly differently. The thing that I like about fish is that they're all pretty flavorful on their own, so you don't necessarily need to over season too much. I've been told that I under season. But that's because I just like the taste of actual fish. I can understand why some people, like in cooking videos, will handle raw meat with their bare hands. I can only imagine, like, how cross-contaminated their kitchens are, you know? As with most fish, you're gonna want to bake it skin side down. I know a lot of people think fish stinks, but I kind of like the smell. People do one with just regular salt and pepper, you know, the basics. I think for this one, because my sister and I went to, um... She used to get factory and she got like a just a herb seasoned salmon and it was pretty good. Now when I season my fish, I don't do it go too crazy. This is about like two small pinches of salt. You ever see like the people who pour into their hands and then they go like this? I think that's cringe. Just get a cap with the holes in it. I have like 13 bottles of seasoning. I didn't buy a spice rack, so they're just out on the counter. And if it's not open, like this one, imagine it was actually open and I just dump it. If it's not open, I just put it back. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't open it. 
do for inch. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on the parsley one. Ah, that's too much. Oh wait, I gotta do the icebreaker question. Sorry, guys, this is a first date right now. Remember, we're RPing, we're RPing. This article is called 15 Best I Icebreaker Questions for Your First Date. <laughs> what is the thing you were most excited about buying this year? Hmm. Let's see, I have no money, so I can't really buy anything. I forgot something. Another trick you can do with fish and salmon in particular, sometimes when you bake it, there's a lot of moisture that comes out of it. If you've ever baked salmon and like the white goo comes out, that's usually what will happen when you have frozen salmon. I mean, it does happen sometimes when you have fresh, but what you can do is you can slice lemons on top of it and it kind of absorbs that flavor and it kind of brightens your fish a little bit. So let's get some lemons cut. Um, I think my best purchase so far, even though it wasn't with my money, was the $300 camera lens that I bought when I busted my camera lens. It's a blessing in disguise. I want to save up to get another DSLR because I would love to have a nicer camera for um, calligraphy. Also, be careful when you're handling knives, okay? Don't point them towards yourself. Don't walk around pointing other people. When you're holding items, make sure you're gripping it like this. Don't have your fingers out like this because you're more likely to slip. You don't have to get it super thin. Right now I'm doing about one to two millimeters of slice. These so good. It's been a while since I've had like fresh lemons. Now we're gonna put the lemons on the salmon. Okay, actually, it's fine. Yeah, you put the seasoning and then the lemons on. Our lemons are on the salmon. Our oven is ready. Let's put her in. So since we're only baking two fillets, I set my timer for 15, but I'm gonna check it at 10. I put it on the middle rack, that way you get even heating. So if you put it on the top, it'll burn. If you put it on the bottom, it'll only heat the bottom. I've made mashed potatoes from scratch before, but I couldn't get them to taste good because sometimes if you don't like mash them enough, you still get like little peas or pods of potato. And we don't want that on our first date. So I'm making powdered mashed potato, but honestly, I think it's better than making it from scratch. Cancel me. I have two flavors, roasted garlic or four cheese. I think roasted garlic will complement our salmon more. I'm gonna make the whole package because, okay, <laughs> a while ago I bought like six of these and on days where I don't feel like cooking, I'll just make a whole package. And the whole package makes a bowl like this big and I will eat all of it. I know some people don't like mashed potatoes because of the texture, but I, I personally love mushy foods. Okay, so this says add two cups of boiling water but I usually add a bit less because I don't like when my mashed potatoes are too runny. If you just need a small amount, like a cup or two, I usually get a microwave safe bowl or mug and then I just heat up what I need in the mic. There's no point in boiling. You can use like one of those water pitchers, but it just seems like too much of a waste. And also with these like um, hot water pitchers, you don't clean them enough and then you get like, not bold, it gets kind of murky. You can hear the salmon sizzling in the oven. It looks so good! When I mix things that aren't like fully porous, I usually use a fork because sometimes with a spoon you can't mix as well. You ideally should use a scraper, which is colloquially called a spatula. They're usually rubber, that way you can scrape against edges. Okay, that's warm. <laughs> Anybody have to stick their finger into their hot tea? Okay, so I'm not going to pour all this in. The directions say to mix and then let it sit. So I'm going to add about half. The mashed potato is done. I want to do something fancy with it. Or rather, I'm going to try something fancy. <laughs> you ever see the videos where they put rice into a bowl? That way it's shaped. I want to try that. Do any of you guys have like a favorite cup or like a favorite fork or plate? This is my favorite plate in the house. I'm weird like that. I'm going to try and shape my mashed potatoes. Wait, should I oil it? No. It should be fine, right? How am I gonna get this out, though? I don't think this is gonna work. I don't- I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> I 
should have like buttered it. I'm so DOM. I can't. Oh wait, 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 wait. That was actually pretty good. Did I make it into a heart? Damage done. I'm gonna turn the fan back on. Plug your ears. that cool for a little bit. I'm gonna try and make a heart out of mashed potatoes. My idea is I'm gonna make two circles. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I'm trying to make a heart out of mashed potatoes, okay? This is not easy. Oh my god, I did it. Holy. Everybody's gonna be so impressed. Okay, honestly, how weird would it be to like Go to somebody's house and cook for them for a first date. I think if somebody asks you to do that, I think that's a red flag. They're probably gonna like murk you or something. I did it. So mashed potatoes are done. I will eat these later. I'm not gonna throw them away. Whoa, I'm impressed. Are you lying? This is honestly pretty cute, right? Type one if you're impressed. Type two if you're hay watcher. <laughs> Wait, since I'm making lunch for you guys, do I have to make another plate? Do I really need to f Okay, I'll make another plate. But thank you guys for spending time with me today. Not gonna lie, even if I had a Valentine, I'd still probably stream. Because <laughs> I think something that really resonated with me was Hassan streaming on like Christmas or Thanksgiving or something. And a lot of his chat was saying, oh my god, thank you for streaming today because I don't have family or I'm not at home right now. And it makes me feel better. And I was kind of in that boat this past year. I didn't really spend Thanksgiving with family or anything. Or Christmas either. By choice, by choice. So if I can stream on a holiday, I will. Next heart is done. Wow, look at how cute. Okay, chat, chat, chat. Do you guys want the regular salt and pepper? Or do you want the garlic herb? Both? No, you get to pick one. Garlic herb? Okay. It's funny because this filet is smaller too. And you guys have the bigger plate. I was going to get like, asparagus. That way I can like frame the plating a bit better, but I don't really like asparagus. This is my plate. And then chats. Aren't these cute? These are $10? I don't buy strawberries. I don't know how much they are normally, but look how perfect these are. They aren't nearly as ripe, but they're perfect. And of course, chat deserve the best. Okay, I don't think these are pre-rinsed, so I'm gonna rinse them and then pat them dry. Yeah, as always, rinse your veggies with cold water. You know how people will make the concoctions that will theoretically kill the, like, chemicals in non-organic veggies? I honestly don't care. Because I feel like everything gives you cancer these days, you know? You have to make sure the strawberries are completely dry. Because if hot chocolate touches water, it seizes. Meaning it won't melt anymore. When chocolate goes from a drastic temperature change, like if it's melted, so essentially boiling hot, and then it goes to cold, so when it touches water, or even like a room temp container or cup, it seizes. I hate that the stems are so long. They're like this so you can dip them easier. When you take the stems off of strawberries, they're only good for so long. If you're gonna dip strawberries and take the stems off, you have to fully dip them. You can't leave them half exposed. Because when you dip them in chocolate, it kind of creates a like coating. So it's kind of like a cocoon to where like bacteria can't get in. Okay, strawberries are fully dry. That took a minute. Oh my god. Guys, I promised if I was working off stream, I'd be working double time. I have leftover chocolate from the cake pop fiasco. It has light pink, green, and white chocolate shards. And then I have leftover white chocolate chips. So I think what I'm gonna do is dip all the base into white and then do stripes with the leftover scraps, but then I'll just dye it to be more pinky red. Since we're gonna be dipping the chocolates, I'm gonna heat them up into mugs because it'll be a lot easier to dip than in a bowl. I'm gonna heat a few chips as normal. Every 15 seconds you mix. And to make chocolate a little bit thinner so it's easier to dip and coat, we're gonna put a tad of oil. You can use vegetable olive, it doesn't really affect the flavor. It's just mainly gonna affect the texture. And when you're melting chocolate, you're gonna wanna make sure you're using a metal spoon because the metal spoon will match the temperature of the chocolate. 
Microwave the spoon so it'll be warm? No! Bad baking tips with Emmy. It's probably gonna take about a minute total of actual heating. Because when you're melting chocolate, all the chips that are touching each other will kind of melt each other as it heats up. So that's why it's important you're checking it every 10 to 15 seconds, that way you're not overheating it. Okay, this right here is just about the perfect consistency. See how there's still some lumps in it? But as you stir, the chips will melt each other. So this right here, 45 seconds for this amount is perfect. Okay, now we can start dipping. I personally like the look of like a not fully dipped strawberry. But I like being able to see the red and the green. I personally prefer like a milk chocolate dip and then like a white chocolate drizzle. But I didn't want to go out and buy more chocolate. Because chocolate is freaking expensive. I think each of these bags are like five bucks and this is a 11 ounce bag. Okay, now that we have our base coats done, we can go ahead and heat up our next round. Now notice how I'm using a different cup to heat up our next round. Because since these chocolates are room temp and then that one is not like boiling hot, it's like in between, right? So if I were to reheat that cup with the existing chocolate with new chocolate, it'll cause it to seep. Because like we talked about earlier, when chocolate touches chocolate that's at a different temperature, it affects it consistently. So when I, when I say seize, seize means pardon. Okay, so this is just scraps. What's cool about chocolate is that you can always save it for the next time. These are scraps from the previous batch I made. Because as long as it gets back to the room temp state, you can always reuse it and it doesn't affect the texture or the flavor. Okay, this chocolate is perfectly heated. It's this nice, icky gray color. So let's brighten it up. I'm gonna add a tad more red because it's not as red as I want it to be. I think I'm also gonna reheat this chocolate a little bit. I'm gonna add some oil because this isn't thin enough, I've come to realize. Oil isn't hot, so I might have caused this to seize. At least this is my scraps. Oh wait, actually, it's thinning out. I'm good, I'm saved. Should I be a pro chef type one? Ooh, this is perfect. Wait, never mind. <laughs> it's not dripping. It's not... Oh, there we go, there we go. Ooh, look at that. Okay, now I gotta be quick and put it into a bag. Chocolate is very warm, I've come to realize. Now we're gonna do... Drizzle? Oh, there was an air bubble. This one's trash, don't look at that one. Not then. And now we can sit down and enjoy our meal together. Honestly, I'm probably gonna eat chat share. Because normally when I have fish, I'll have like two fillets. So we have my salt and pepper seasoned salmon for myself. Then chat wanted to have the parsley and oregano seasoned salmon, so that is for you guys. There is also a lemon in which you can put on your fish if you so desire. Strawberries are stuck to the plate. Oh my god. Okay, there's one. Half the chocolate came off the bottom. We just won't look at the bottom. Kind of rude, you guys didn't um push my chair in for me. Well, let's dig in, shall we? This is a first date, we're RPing. Chatters, we're RPing. RP is role playing. First thing to note, don't eat the lemons that are on the salmon. You can if you want to, but you honestly don't need to. I have made a lovely meal and dessert for you guys. It's time for the icebreaker questions. You know, let's get to know each other. I'm so nervous, don't be nervous. This is, I feel like we've been friends for a long time and I think it's nice that we took this extra step to go on a date together. First question, if you have to delete all but three apps, which ones would you keep? The apps that I use the most every day are definitely Twitter. I could use Twitter on desktop, but I like the UI of it on mobile a bit more. Um, TikTok for sure, because you know, I need all that TikTok clout. The Twitch mobile app is so bad, honestly. I'd rather just like watch on desktop, so I would probably delete Twitch. Twitch mobile is underrated. That is such a bad take. Twitch mobile is such... I, I mean... I didn't mean to swear on our first date. Oh no. <laughs> okay, these mashed potatoes are actually pretty good. They're cold. I'm freaking... They're cold? <laughs> but they taste immaculate. Compliments to the chef. Which family member are you closest to? 
I don't want to trauma dump on our first date. But, you know, there'll never be a scenario in which you'll have to meet my parents, let's just say. Don't worry about it. Don't stress on it. Don't worry about impressing them, because you'll never meet them. But I think I'm probably closest to my sister. You know, she's quiet, but she's secretly super caring and kind and sweet. She's kind of clueless, but, you know, she's adorable. I cooked this salmon perfectly. It's a perfect medium rare. What's nice about a medium rare salmon is that it doesn't taste raw. To me, it's kind of gummier, but it's not nearly as dry as like a fully baked salmon. Pretty good. It is very cold though. <laughs> Are you gonna feed us with a fork? No, I think feeding somebody on the first date is mega cringe. With my previous partner, there was one time where we tried it and it was just so awkward. We didn't do it in public. Cause that I think is mega cringe, but we tried it at home one time. We did not like it. <laughs> Tell me about your ex on the first date. Shut the f up. Shut up. See, this is why I've never dated since, okay? I'm bad. Um, let's lighten the mood a little bit. Um, what would your dream job be if money didn't matter? Do you mean in the sense of, like, paying for a college education? Because the American system capitalizes on the idea of education when it should be free. If not, then... You mean, like, if you make enough money when in society women make less money? I do love the idea of having my own business. The idea of being able to run my own operations, oversee everything, and be able to work with people who I wanna work with, I think is very appealing. A voice actor I think would be very fun as well. I personally love doing like voices and characters on stream. I don't go too crazy, but I think voice acting would be fun. You know what I do love? I love, I love reading to kids because I used to work at a daycare and I used to volunteer. And I think it's very sweet whenever you do, like, be a little bit more extra when you're reading to see, like, their eyes light up. Because you can definitely tell that that kid is actually picturing it in their mind as you're reading. And I think it's a very sweet thing. I'm kind of disappointed you guys haven't touched your food yet. Are you guys not hungry? You know what? I'm thirsty. And not for you guys. Let's use a fancy goblet. Ooh, this smells really good. It smells like blueberries. This goblet is not big enough. Are you gonna get us a cup too? Honestly, no. Because washing another fork and knife is nothing, but I, I hate washing cups, so no. I know it'll break the RP, but no. I don't want to wash another cup. <laughs> okay, this question is funny. Nobody better than me. But what is um, one thing that never fails to make you cringe? People singing in public? Well, I sometimes do that. I don't bust on corners, but I kind of sing to myself as I walk sometimes. Because it's comforting to me. I like how my voice sounds when I sing. But now that I know that you don't like it, I don't really like you as much anymore. It's cringe when people are being intentionally disingenuous. And the one example I can think of is the vertical video formats where it's somebody talking to the camera because all I can picture, like someone just going like this, being super extra recording a video, all I can think about is somebody watching them record themselves, and I just think it's so silly. <laughs> For the longest time, I thought YouTube content was kind of cringe because it's usually just somebody sitting in the room talking to a camera, but I think stream content is better because there's actual people typing in chat talking with you back. I've noticed you guys haven't touched your food. Maybe you can share, you guys can share, right? So the salt and pepper one was pretty good. Pretty delightful, but I'm looking forward to this parsley seasoned one. If you hosted a podcast, what would it be about? I think podcasts is some of the most egotistical content you can make. Because you expect somebody to sit for hours, possibly, and listen to you talk. I think it's also different if you have an established audience versus if you don't have a platform. And if you make a podcast and you don't have a platform, then nobody gives a f when I think politics, I think podcasts, because podcasts are the most digestible content, and since a lot of people listen to it in the background, it's very easy to them to get conditioned into what you are thinking. That's why I personally don't listen to any podcast, because I don't want to subconsciously change my mind when I hear just one opinion. That's why it's important to get all your news source and media from different sources. You know, just because I'm a f***ing leftist doesn't mean I don't watch right-wing media sometimes. You need to understand both perspectives in order to formulate your own opinion. I think podcasts are bad because it's long-form media. 
so it takes up more of your time, so it takes away time from looking at other sources of media. And since a lot of podcasts are very, like, niche, it's very hard to, for one, to change their mind out of that niche mindset. And I only mean in the sense of, like, political podcasts, not entertainment. Entertainment podcasts are fine. Like, you know, like, the true crime ones or, like, gossip ones, that's fine. Because that's purely entertainment. American politics has become entertainment when it should be about ideology. I think we should kind of stray away from politics because I don't think we should talk about that on a first date, but what is your favorite season of the year? I'm an enjoyer of art and I think the most beautiful time of year is the fall time because seeing how the whole environment changes and seeing all the leaves go from green to red to brown, I think is beautiful. And also from an artistic point of view, the subconscious attraction you have to contrasting colors. That's why seeing like the red and orange leaves against the blue sky is inherently prettier. And it gives me a reason to wear layers. And if you're a big girly, you know that layers are your best friend. Winter because I have problems? Are you trauma dumping on our first date? You want a sip of juice, not wine? What is something you love doing? If you say your mom, on a first date in response to this question, then you're a memer and I think we'll get along very well. It is still very rude to say, so don't say it. Call me corny. I'd have to say something that I love doing and that is the most rewarding. I can think of two things. Cooking, like we did today. I think being able to provide for somebody, because I think cooking is a very kind thing to do. And it obviously requires some semblance of skill and preparing. And it takes time to get good at it, and I think it's very rewarding to see you get better over time. I think the second thing, you can put your kappas in chat, I've really come to enjoy streaming. And I think it's very different than how it was when I first started. Because when you start from nothing and you stream to zero viewers for months on end, I think you grow to appreciate the people who enjoy what you do and choose to spend time with you. And I am honestly really glad I didn't try any strategies or techniques to like pop off quickly. Even though I'm very small, I feel like most everyone who watches regularly, even if you're a chatter or a lurker, I feel like a lot of people are like actively engaging. To me, it's validating because it makes me feel like you guys want to be here. You want to spend time with me and the, everybody else chatting or watching. And it's very cute. I think when I've gone through so much of my life being isolated, whether it be like by circumstance or by choice, it's nice knowing that there are people who like my presence. I think a big thing for me was when we streamed on Christmas Eve, I wasn't sure if people were going to watch because it's a holiday, right? It's Christmas Eve. But we had, I think that was one of my streams that had the most unique viewers. Unique viewers meaning how many individual people click on the stream. And we had a lot of people come in to stream that day. It was just a reminder that no matter what I do or when I stream, people will want to spend time with me. Oh, look at that. My second filet is done. You guys haven't even nibbled or taken a bite. I think it's time for dessert. I know that we're eating dessert now. So I assume this date is nearing its end. I know I've enjoyed spending the time so far, so if you have anything to say, I would say it now. Any confessors? <laughs> okay, let's see how this is. I feel like the white chocolate is gonna be, is gonna be like extremely sweet. The strawberry is really ripe. It is really good. Because since white chocolate is oil-based, for me it always leaves like a film on your tongue for a little bit before it like fully melts. I would make this with milk chocolate next time. I don't think I've ever made chocolate strawberries. I don't think I've ever received chocolate strawberries either. I want to have like a real Valentine's Day. Not gonna lie. I like to say that I don't like gifts too much. After seeing so many people like receive gifts, I'm just like, I kind of want that. I think it's more so I want somebody to care for me in that way. But you know, it'll happen one day. I have enjoyed the meal I have prepared. I hope you guys enjoyed the meal as well. Even though you didn't have any, I hope you enjoyed the looks of it. Based on how some of you guys answered, I don't know if I want a second date. That doesn't mean you should not come back. No, no, you should watch every stream.
Wait, why is it recommending the same video? What the hell? I gotta fix that. Today Wow! How many crushes have you had? So this was a quiz that I made for my chat room. Love is in the air, peace I to heart. Maybe this is the year you'll be struck by Cupid's arrow. Whether you're in a relationship or forever single, this is the perfect quiz for you. Do you have a valentine this year? No. <laughs> But turns out, I have three chatters who would be my valentine. Yeah, how many crushes have you had? When I was thinking up the questions for this quiz, I was like, if you have zero, you're probably like ace, and that's fine. If you have one to three, you probably like fell in love with your best friend, but then you had a best friend every few years. And if you have four to ten, then you had a new crush every school year. So that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I always had a crush on a different person every year, but then I had like a long ongoing crush on one of my friends or two of my friends <laughs> in school. <laughs> so I have a lot. Only one of them worked out. Ever confessed your feelings to someone? Okay, similar to how I had a crush every year, I confessed to somebody most every school year. So yes, they all failed. The only time I got confessed to was my previous partner. But then I liked them back. Wait, did it mean entire life and not just this year, bro? <laughs> Ever been on a date? Yeah. Ever hold hands? Yes. Ever receive a kiss? Yes, no, just from my parents. <laughs> I was gonna make a tom brady joke but i didn't want to be political which is the best valentine's treat flowers chocolates balloons or stuffed animals i have to say chocolates because i can eat them thoughts on pda love it i like seeing people happy smiley face it's okay makes me a little uncomfy nope hate it save it for home i personally i like pda obviously there is a line like don't be like making out with your partner in public i don't mind pda i think it's cute like you ever be in public and you see like an old couple like holding hands and it's cute i personally like showing pda in public too like <laughs> there was one time me and my previous partner were walking around town it was a guy we both had an arm on each other's waist we looked like losers it makes me jealous <sighs> you're a hater i can live through other people's pda that's what i feel too it's cute is love real yeah, obviously. Some people feel it. Maybe not me right now. Do I want any advice? Nope, I'm a love guru. <laughs> if you could give relationship advice, what would you say? Ooh. Okay, this isn't necessarily for me, but I think this is very important to say. I never experienced any abuse from a previous partner, but this is just in general. If someone hits you, they don't love you. There's obviously a lot of psyche behind if you experience abuse and in the kind of dynamics and like how you deal with it and why a lot of people do choose to stay in a relationship but tldr if someone hits you or is mean to you or calls you names where it's not consensual yes there are times to where let's say there's rp where you may enjoy some more like sadistic things if it's in the normal day to day they are hitting you or calling you names like belittling you that's not love. And no matter what you think you feel, or what you think that they feel for you, that is not love. There are resources in your local area, there are national hotlines you can call if you need support. But if someone is hurting you, that is not love. I told myself if the moment, the moment, a potential partner is harming me, whether verbally or physically, I am out. I don't give a f You hit me once, we are done. No exceptions. But yeah, that was the quiz I had everybody answer. I'll be showing the multiple response answers today. Do you have a Valentine this year? 
83% said no. And that's why you guys are all watching Twitch, because you guys are forever alone. We have some Valentine's Havers. Three people, wow! How many crushes have you had? A majority, one through three. Nice. Zero. Two people, wow. I think it's interesting how people cannot have crushes. It's obviously something that I can't relate to. Like I said, if you have zero, you might be ace. Which is fine, which is great. Ever confessed your feelings for someone? 55% said yes. 55% of you guys are brave. Ever been on a date? 61% said yes. So that means of the 55% who said they confessed to somebody, they've been on a date. So theoretically, the people who've gone on dates might have been confessed to. Ever hold hands? 72%. So that means of the people who have said no, or everybody who's answered, that means you're probably not with that person now. Sad. Well, I don't really think dating apps count as confessing. I mean, it, it kind of does. Like, when you're messaging people, like, obviously when you match, I guess, it would count. Like, you do kind of like each other. It's not as, like, brazen as a confession. To me, a confession is like putting your foot in the door. So I think it kind of counts. Ever receive a kiss? No, just my parents. Oh my god, four of you motherfuckers. <laughs> Ew, four of you are Tom Brady's kids. I can understand how like parents can show platonic love like that, but I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Okay, so that means of the 13 people who have held hands, one of you guys did not get a kiss. Didn't even get to first base, damn. Which is the best Valentine's treat? Interesting. 50% said stuffed animals. 44 said chocolates, and one person said flowers. One person is a hopeless romantic. Everybody else were practical. We either like eating, want to cuddle. Thoughts on PDA? A lot of you guys took the neutral response. 55% said it makes you a little bit uncomfy. 38% said I love it. You are like me, a hopeless romantic. You live vicariously through people. Wow, one person said no, you hate it. Why do you hate people's love? Is love real? 77% said yes, 22% said no, so four people think love isn't real. Someone hurt them, and I'm sorry. And I don't want to say that you will find somebody one day, but just know that it is real. Don't be too much of a doomer. Okay, that was fun. <laughs>also, my stream, my stream, my stream dropped frames. I'm back. So those were two of my YouTube videos. Go subscribe. Weekly stream highlights. Dang, why does this Today one is a bone 10 likes? Holy moly. No more comments? Who's watching this video? Who's who's watching this video? <laughs> okay, it's fine. My break's over. Let's get back to work. Wait, no, still why did I open the video? Sub go stream. That was an accident. There you go, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, I've had my lunch. Time to go back to work. I'm gonna verify that the game audio is still synced. In my stream drop framed. It's fine though. It happens. My whole- the whole day, it says my bitrate has been high. But it says I'm at 6k. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it says I'm stable now. The whole day it's been saying my bitrate has been unstable, but... It's been stable. Eh. It's whatever. I won't let it interrupt my workday. <clears throat> it does not feel like it's been four hours.
But you know what? That just means I'm having fun. I'm also, like, progressing more. So I'm excited to see where this goes. Give me a C. I knew it. It's because I don't have any punk decorations or punk cats. Wait, I gotta change my category. I'm no longer on my break. I'm working I'm working a real job. Wait, Cat Cafe Manager has 45 viewers? Who else is streaming this game? <laughs> Wait, I need to see who else is streaming this game. <laughs> Wait, who else is streaming it? There's no way I have 45 viewers. Cat Cafe Manager. There's like two VTubers. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to work. I love my job so much. No, VTubers are fine. I get why they do it. Let's call Bwan. In another timeline, I would have been a VTuber. Oh wait, he needs a toilet! <laughs> um... Awkward... I'll buy a toilet today, I have enough money. Oh, wait, no, I, I used all my jewels! I don't have enough money. Well... No toilet. Yeah, he's gonna have to hold it. Or he could just go outside, I have a whole field out bank. My cats don't even have a litter box yet. Oh, I don't have a milkshake, I'm sorry. Also, I don't think it's very punk for a punk person to order a milkshake. Then Catterwall does. I take it city folks just wear earplugs all day. That is true. I do wear my headphones all the time. The city is very loud. Wait, what is this? Prepare latte. I'm out of coffee beans! No, broke! Oh no! Uh oh. We need more witches! Okay, I have 37. I should be able to buy more beans. Thank goodness. I have more beans. The latte coming right up! Oh my god, there's so many customers now. No, we do not have milkshakes! Even though we do have a milkshake maker, we do not have milk. <laughs> Somebody else why do the business why do the businessmen always want toilets? You guys have bougie bidets in your millennial office. Don't come piss and shit in my cafe. Steve is literally standing doing nothing. I hate Steve. I don't pay you to do nothing, even though I don't pay you anything. Oh my god, Steve, he's doing nothing! I don't know if he's got back from break, but what are you doing, Steve? Like, seriously. Look, we missed out on all these customers! I'm gonna fire Steve, like, seriously. Let's level up my cats. I hate Steve. The 
Let's keep expanding this place. I want to put flowers all around the outside. I'm only going to advertise to artists, witches, and punk people. I don't really need gold, and I don't really need fabric. I'm not getting enough witches! I am so broke! I can't even afford to buy the toilet. I already have another table, so I'm not gonna buy this table. I'm gonna buy the cats a toy because I love them. Day. Give me a C. Yes, sir. stay in the kitchen area because Steve can serve he just sucks at cooking <laughs> now it's still just staying there I hate Steve <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying I hate him and then maybe he'll change his behavior I'm gonna be toxic The milkshake machine broke down. I literally haven't even used it once. Oh my god, it's taking forever. Too many breaks. Hey, Bonna. You come here often? Do I have a favorite Girl Scout cookie? I like the ones that have the coconut caramel. I forgot what they're called, but that one. I almost said macaroons, but that's not that's not it. <laughs> I think it's because those cookies have the most different types of textures. Am I on a coffee beat? I can't be. Oh, oh, be said. Hey, you look like you're ready for another story. Boner squints his eyes shut, as if forcing a faraway memory to resurface. What? Says a much younger man, but already devilishly handsome. I found myself trekking through a dark forest. These woods had a bit of a ghost story associated with them. Creepy pasties. 
I believe you call them these days. Okay, that's not the right word. Far from the right word. <laughs> Some lads on the boat I worked on talked about this creature, the Grim, which haunted the woods, making folks disappear and all that. Naturally brave and foolish as I was, I loudly declared I'd go in and prove to him no creature to be disappearing me, grim or otherwise. Just as I rounded a tree, a dark shape attacked me. After a mighty struggle, I was freed. But I had taken off with my prized fishing beanie. Being filled with what little Finny calls himbo energy. I quickly follow the beast to get me Beanie back. I trekked into this clearing with all these weird statues. A lady and a young man were studying them, talking excitedly. The beast, now not so fierce, snuggled up to the lady. Anyways, that's the story of how I got me cap stolen by a rascally cat. And met ye grand and Gavin. <laughs> it's also the first time I came to Catterwall. I keep coming back for many a year until I found myself living here. Speaking of ye, moved here from the city, didn't she? If you don't mind me asking, why'd ye make the move? I didn't like the city. If I say I want a fresh start, then I sound like a killer. Oh, that makes sense. Lately, I feel like Catawall's becoming more and more like the city somehow. Courtesy of Akabu. That Goliath is bound to ruin this town. For instance, take last week. Akabu bought out that old bakery. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Was it the blacksmith? Bonner once again squints his eyes shut, but after a long moment, he seems to give up. Well, never mind that. <laughs> you feel that Bonner's usual jolly laugh has an unexpected nervous edge. Either way, I hope you've taken a liking to Catterwall, despite the hawk looming over it. I won't keep you any longer, Peason. He's saying you. You received Bonner's Bottled Ship. Art plus two. Fisher Book level up two to three. Fish gain 25%. They now want a toilet. Goddamn fisherman. Back to work. I love my job so much. Pretty good day. I need ingredients. I'm gonna order two coffee. I only have eight potions left. I guess I'll buy the toilet. good oh it goes inside come on 
you. The flowers are cute at least. Already occupied. That's dumb. Yeah, I still need jewels. I still need potions. I think I'm gonna hold off on the punks for now. I need gold. I think I should only advertise to three types of people every day. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> Bless me. You were expanded. Maybe I should- I think I'm gonna hire one more person. Cause why not? If it don't cost me nothing. Wait. No, I forgot I can't hire somebody else. I haven't unlocked it yet. Oh, shoot. Oh, come on. What in tarnation? God damn it. Give me a B. You were just complaining about Steve, though? Well, if I get two bad workers, then combined they'll be a decent worker. And maybe Steve was just a bad pick. Okay, cats, get away from the toilet. Please, get away. It's the human toilet, not the cat toilet. Enjoy the toilet. Okay, dude. So many dishes, oh my goodness. It, it just never stops. Look, Steve is just standing there. Oh, I gotta feed the cats. Sorry. Me all be day. Goodness, I need another worker. Because Steve ain't doing jack shit. All he's doing is rizzing. Hi! A oh, beautiful day to you, Peason. Thank you. Somebody else. I probably need to buy multiple toilets, huh? Oh my goodness. We should just have no publicly accessible toilets. I did feel bad 
when I worked in service where we closed our bathrooms to the public. But genuinely, it is such a nuisance when people destroy the bathroom. It's like, I don't want to deal with no biohazard. Because when I worked at Subway, we only had one bathroom. So it was staff and customer bathroom. I think every workplace should have a separate bathroom for staff. And like for a safety concern too, you know what I mean? I have 221 potions. I'm gonna buy ingredients. I think I don't have more than 10 of. I'm gonna buy. And I'm out of money. Ice cream! Hey, it's gonna take forever to unlock all this. I think my menu's too big. That's part of the problem. No more businessmen, they suck. Yeah, since I'm not advertising to punks, no punks came in today. I'm gonna keep doing artists and witches. Hopefully more witches will come in. I've reached my chair limit. Damn. I'm ready for the next day? Give me a C. Yep. I'll take a C. Hi. Maybe Steve only serves a type of person. I haven't noticed a pattern with him yet. Look, there's a girl right in front of you, Steve. What if his name is not even Steve and I just, I'm just calling him the wrong thing? Maybe that's why he hates me. Maybe Steve is serving through telekinesis, and he could just serve from across the room. Maybe I've been judging him this whole time, unwarrantingly. Oh, hey! Me and this fox had a lovely chat the other day. Um, 
Not that I could understand any of his weirdly cute yelping. She just self-reported. peed on their ball. Come on. Wow. Yes! More cats too. You added two cat limits to your slot. Yes! I'm gonna unlock the new cat lord. I wanna get more cats in here. Because now that we're getting more customers, I'm going to need more cats. And that's the end of another day. You know what else I'm going to need? Subscriptions. Because guys, we are five hours into stream, five hours into my eight hour day, a little over halfway there. So, did I hate seeing myself at 30 frames per second? So, if you want to avoid that, I must do subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or... You can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Isn't that wicked? Also, if you're new here, um, subscribe. Do it. Or also, if you're new here, follow. Sorry, follow first and then subscribe. <laughs> oh, no, I'm getting tired. Uh-oh. I think I'm crashing. This is unheard of. Usually, after I eat, I'm fine, but I'm like, ugh. Also, I want to change the crop on the clock. I hate how the, the crop keeps moving. It agitates me so much. Actually, I don't want to adjust it. Too much work. There you go. Another day for the dollar. What's nice is that I'm getting level up points every single day. And I can level up a cat too. I need more witch points. Let's learn how to make milkshakes. And then I need ingredients. Ice cream. Strawberries. Man, the strawberries are seventy dollars. I got ninety six left. D let's do tomatoes. Should I buy? I'll buy another toilet. Why not? And people can't complain about not having a toilet. Another day for the dollar. Yeah, only artists and witches came in today. That's pretty good. Hello. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's call Carla. Hopefully, she can level oh, up today. Hey. 
Huh? I don't want to clean up the bathroom. Ew. Carla, level up. Hello again, dear. Um. Carla Lala fidgets back and forth, tugging at the brim of her hat. You feel like she's working out to say something. Ooh. Do we wait and see, or... Let's see what's wrong. Let's poke her a little bit. What's wrong? Oh dear, is it that obvious? At least you did not tease me like little Arwell. It's my mom's. I got in a fight with them. I was hoping to ask if you ever feel pressured into running the cat cafe. Because of your family history? Um, yeah, I moved out here. I inherited it, so I kind of felt like I had to take care of it. Isn't it? Expectation can be heavier than one expects, right? My mom wants me to take over the family witchy business and put a stop to my pet shop, Puppycock. To be completely honest with you, I'm not sure why I opened the shop myself. The truth is, I absolutely love animals, but I really do not know the first thing about pets. I've spent so much of my youth in the woods, running wild with, well, wild animals. One of the reasons I enjoy spending time here, Peason, is that I learned so much from the cats and from yourself. A moment of silence falls over the conversation. Before you can reply, Carla Lala pulls on a bright smile. Thank you for the frank talk, dear. It's so very refreshing to talk about such things so openly. I think I see why the cats trust you so much, Peason. You received Calm Cat Cordio, Relaxation 2, Magic Aura 2. Witches level up from 2 to 3. Potion increase 25. Uh, they want toilets too. <laughs> they want a veggie sandwich and an Italian sub. I should just open a subway. Oh, wait, I gotta place her little potion. It looks like a hookah. <laughs> I don't think we can have that here. They banned smoking indoors ages ago. Oh, now the witches want to chat. Oh my god. That's so annoying. Just eat your food and leave. Hookah bars are inside? Oh yeah, they are. <laughs> Not like I would know what one of my cousins, he, he goes to hookah every Thursday. He's in Hawaii though. And he has one in the backyard. And I remember it's, I don't like the smell. I mean, I don't think you can have it inside like a restaurant though, is what I mean. I think I'm out of coffee. Oh my God, the witches want to chat too. Come on. Yeah, you, dude, you need a permit for like everything. Opening a restaurant is so difficult because you need all these different licenses and permits. Mm -hmm. Granted, it makes sense because like you're serving food to people and you don't want people to get sick. But I think restaurants are some of the hardest things to start. Oh, I didn't serve a good handful of people. Oopsie. <laughs> okay. I'm out of coffee. Pick a trait. Hipster. Plus two to all skills when at least four pieces of hipster furniture are present. Terrific. Plus two to all skills when at least four pieces of tea room furniture are present. 
or magically attuned. Plus, due to all skills when at least four pieces of magical furniture are present. These are all good. I, don't, I think you can unlock all the skills at some point, so I'll just work towards it. Wow, I have 712 jewels? Damn. Basic deep fryer. Chocolate Sunday, holy. I'm gonna unlock one recipe a day. I'll buy two coffee beans. And I'm out. What is nice is that if you're out of food, the customers will order something else. That's genuinely really nice that they do that. So many chairs, but no one to sit in them. Another day, another dollar. Bathroom, okay. <laughs> I do hope when I chat with the people, they give me more money. Finally, let's talk to Finley. My goodness, Steve was so far behind. I leave for like 10 seconds. time at Hawkabo Coffee. She's an insider. It's the pits, but I've got to make rent somehow. And as many bland blends as I can drink. She's the enemy. She works for Hawkabo. I don't think we can date anymore. Project complete. Stray Lures 1. Unlocks premium canned Stray Lure. Very nice. I'm 
gonna unlock Stray Lords too. Okay, good day, team. Good day. What is nice is that I basically get to level up every day. Okay, I finally have 10 of everything. Now I'm just gonna top everything off. I should get coffee. Oh, I needed to change my... Advertising to vagrants. I forgot. I'm gonna hold on artists for today because I kind of want to get more desire. So I should do a higher level people. I know punks are level 3, fishermen level 3, business people level 3. Out of all the resources, I need more materials, so I'll do punks. Another day, another dollar. Ooh, finally a B rank? Ain't no way. Hey. Why is it not at the milkshake maker, huh? huh. Hi. Oh wait, you gotta get milk from the milk. You gotta get milk from the fridge, probably. actually working today what is going on he must have heard me talking shit let's call Finley Milkshake machine broke down? Steve is still standing there. What I do really like about this game is that I'm basically doing everything all day. Like, there's not much where I'm just standing around waiting for things to happen. It's very active gameplay. Even if it's very monotonous, I, I kind of like it. <laughs> Why'd you even leave the city? It must have been a lot more exciting than here. Wait, what if we go back to the city together, Finley? Games like this have an issue where you just stand and wait at a lot of points, yeah. That's kind of why I held off for a while to buy an employee. Because I kind of like actively doing the tasks. <laughs> Wait, 
Wait, something wrong with the bathrooms? Oh my god, they're both dirty. Sorry. There we go. Good day, good haul. I got 239. I think I'm on track with the recipes ingredients now. I haven't run out of anything for like two days now. I think I'm good. Another day, another dollar. to expand. Hey. That's a funny shape at the end. <laughs> should level up today. It is kind of weird in these games how you're referring to your friends as let's level them up. I'm only befriending them so I can earn more things in game. I try not to treat my relationships in real life like that, but it's kind of hard not to when the game tells me I should, you know? Hashtag gaslight, gatekeep, robots. <laughs> laptop like a cat that's been denied access to a plate of pancakes. You wonder where that comparison came from. You might be spending too much time with cats. Oh, hiya, Peason. What's with the thinking about pancakes look? Wasn't trying to ignore you or anything. Just been kind of stuck working on my music is all. Can I take a listen? I'm not a huge fan of watching people listen to my stuff, but yeah, okay. Listen here. Although clearly unfinished, the music is dynamic and energetic, like being in a room full of kittens. I know it ain't great. Let's be encouraging. I can't wait to hear when it's finished. Ah, huh. thanks a lot. Huh, <laughs> thanks. Lots of work ahead, I'm afraid. I've been kind of having some trouble finishing projects lately. Mark my words, Peason. One day you'll see my music top the charts. And not those top tracks to relax and witch to. Liz Carla Lala writes to cheer me up sometimes. How many hits do you think I'll need before I can afford to leave Cotterwall and move to the city, huh? I hear sea rent is going up all the time now. But Cotterwall's going that way too, with the Hoggable buying up the whole town. I'd rather take my chances in the city. I can't wait to go to an actual club, have outdoor Wi-Fi, be angry while stuck in traffic. But, um, I'll start by finishing the song. Thanks for listening to my rambling. I've been a bit in my head today. I'll see you later, okay?
Yes. She wants to go back to the city. I'll go back to the city for her. You received Artist Easel, Art 2. Jewel gain increased to 25. Needs increased by 5. New decoration, 7. They're gonna want simple salad and avant garden salad. Why do the artists always are vegans? That's so mean. Ooh, Vagabond's leveled up. They want books. They now want ham sandwiches and chocolate sundaes. Okay, let's place the painting. What if you open a cat cafe in the city? That's what I'm saying. I think we get a lot more customers. Because the big reason why I think they're popular in Japan is because people will go in and literally just study or do computer work in them. It's a quiet space. And if I had a cat cafe near me, I would go all the time. Because I love cats. Okay, that great cat is now gone. I think that was a glitch. He's not supposed to be here. Nothing good. Yeah, I'm gonna keep advertising the punks, which is in... Uh, let's not do vagrants anymore. I already have 400. Let's see. Let's do businessmen. And he really likes that chair. Also, it's funny how the businessman likes the beanbag chair. It's probably not good for his back. taking longer to order and it's getting annoying. Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh, okay. Thought I lost it. Hmm. Let's do Finley next, because she's pretty high level already.
Oh my goodness, four different dishes? Stanley, I mean, Steve, what are you doing? need another worker like now but it's gonna take a while to unlock it maybe I don't need more cats Bonner sometimes visit me at the Hakabo cafe Bonner sometimes visits me at the Hakabo coffee big man still treats me like a tyke it's kind of nice enjoy the people you have in your life now you never know when they'll be gone. Especially Bonner, he's old. Okay, I think everybody's been served. Chonker, plus two food need, plus three fishermen. Aristocrat, plus one stress need, plus one bladder need, plus three business people. Let's do that. It's gonna be an uppity can. Poor Nico, I let him go. cream tomorrow. Dang. Okay, I don't think I need to advertise to business people anymore. I'm gonna advertise to artists again. Another day, another dollar. I can't wait till it's fully expanded. I want to, like, actually decorate. to move the fridge by the milkshake maker. Because nothing has used the counter yet. Now we good. Stop playing in the piss. <laughs> Silly cat.
I gotta clean the bathroom. I'm going all over the place. Hi, Finley! for the day. Finally. I got a lot more music work done in the evenings because of those fancy microwave meals from the new Hawkable Mart. They even taste better than my nasty cooking. No, she's a corporate shill. No, she's a class trainer. No, you're an artist. Come on. You can't do me like that. Oh, of course, this lady wants to talk. Pick a trait. Neat Freak plus two cleaning. And the other two are buffs. Or decorations. Let's do cleaning. Why not? To tone. because people order a lot of coffee. No more advertising to artists? I don't need them. I'm gonna start advertising to fishermen because I'm gonna need to order um, lures soon. So that's gonna level up tomorrow for sure. Another day, another dollar. Everybody's chit chatting. Hi. Don't they know I have work to do? Hey, my shrine leveled up. Nice. It's called Finlay. Okay, what should I level up next? I can't level up any of the cat stuff. Um... I should add more chairs for sure.
Finley, level up, level four. Hi, Peason. I never actually asked you what sort of music you're into. Care to share? Okay, I gotta be honest. Upbeat and peppy, angry and frantic, calm and relaxing, or smooth and flowing. I like pop and funk, so upbeat. I know, right? I listen to something happy in the shower each morning just to get my day started right. Music is kind of amazing, don't you think? Music's like a sauce, and your brain is like... Rice? Get it? Because sauce flavors the rice? Like, if jazz was curry? Oh! Oh! Funk is a weird fish sauce for sure. Actually, would it be okay if I poured some sauce on your brain rice? I, um, I mean, would you listen to a new song of mine? I love to, Finley. It's much more refined than her previous work. More cohesive, perhaps? Even as a... Even as an amateur, you can tell Finley's skills have improved, but could it be missing something? Hmm, hmm. Okay, I think I've successfully entered feedback mode, so what do you think? It's missing something, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you're right. When I listen to this, it feels like I'm listening to someone else's work. Honestly, I really didn't enjoy making this. I just paid attention to the technical stuff. I didn't have fun. That was the thing about Erin. No matter if she played really well or really badly, she always enjoyed herself no matter what. I'll... I'll have to work harder next time. I just gotta try a little harder. Um, should we comfort her? Uh, if we say you're valid either way, it's kind of like patronizing. Let's be encouraging. I'll gladly listen to your next work, Finley. Thank you. I'm honestly really happy to have you as a friend. No! Thought she was my GF. No! You received Finley's Food Bowl. Cat Syrup 5, Art 2. Oh my god, she loves me. She made me a cat bowl. New desired food is cheese platters and pancakes. Hello? Okay, let's place that food bowl right now. Is every character gonna give me a custom food bowl? That's gonna be so cute. Well, the bathrooms are dirty. Nope, people, they're just occupied. Maybe I need more bathrooms. Another day, another dollar. Oh, I can buy fish bait now. Forgot. Let's buy some lures. Okay, party home cooking lore. Attracts mellow cats used to curling up on sofas or premium can stray lore. Attracts more ordinary cats plus some more picky cats. Let's do premium. Why not? Let's buy another chair. Only sixty more dollars. Buy some bread, because that's pretty popular. And some herbs. Okay, it's looking pretty good.
I just realized I haven't drank water at all during the stream. I did have juice earlier though. Oh, that's good. Another day, another dollar. Let's place our lure. Hi. I'm gonna go buy another lure now before I forget. There we go. bathroom before they order. Don't they know that's rude? And illegal? <laughs> Stray cats. <gasps> the center cat? I love the cats that have the stripes of the leopard prints. Oh, wait. What's his trait? Hunter, they find their own food. No food needed. Oh, I don't, I don't gotta feed it? That's pretty cool. Let's ring up Carla next. Steve is literally just standing. There you go. My goodness. I shouldn't have to tell you how to do your job every single day, Steve. I really shouldn't. focuses on one customer at a time maybe that's it like if he takes over he has to serve them possibly Roro. my goodness all these guys do is yeah yeah I need to just hire somebody to talk for me. I need a professional chatter. Me to make my mom's always asked me to make them potions, but I've only mastered the pet medicine ones. I think she likes cats a bit too much. Maybe we're meant to be. Okay, good day, good day, team. Good day.
Yeah, there's no perks to having the windows up. I might as well just not have them. I'm no longer gonna advertise to... I do need to upgrade my building. I'm gonna keep advertising to punks. I'm gonna buy another toilet. Because people keep trashing it. to place the toilet. Put it here. Fish and chip. <laughs> Let's go. Project complete. More seats. You got four more chairs. Very nice. I'm going to unlock more chairs. Let's place those chairs now. Hmm, now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. Okay, no more chairs for now. I guess I could move all the tables up one. I'll think about it later. I have enough customers for now. Hasn't it? It's all thanks to your hard work, Peason. Thank you. Hi, Kim. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello. I forgot to lure cats. Oh, 
the day's almost ending. There's not enough time in the day. Wait, we can't get a new cat though. We got Freddy. Why is his name Freddy? <laughs> Everybody welcome Freddy to the team. You adopted a stray, Freddy level one. Okay, a lot of people didn't get served. I blame you, Steve. Oh, he's actually using the bed! Finally! The cat's just asleep on the floor. So cute. This advertising lineup looks good. I'm out of money. Wait, these are uneven. Did I not put the door in the center? Oh no, that's annoying. So three, three. Oh, there is no complete center. It's the same thing with Animal Crossing, there's Oh no, wait, there's one, two, three. I put the door not in the center. Oh my god, I'm dumb. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's silly. Okay, I'm fixing everything. Good thing I caught that now before I started placing tables further up top. Okay, now I can place one more chair. Sorry, I took away your bed. <laughs> Oopsie. 
I'm moving all decorations to the side. to do this table here chair here and there oh, I'm out of seats okay and then have them in like a diamond off topic but should I have shrimp with my dinner depends on what you're eating but sure why not Wait, did I run an ad? Guys, it's time for an ad. We're six hours in. I forgot. I almost forgot to run an ad. Imagine. Guys, we're six hours in the stream. Six hours into my eight-hour shift. Um, subscribe. That way you don't see the ad. Uh, click subscribe. See if you got a prime sub. Do it. Do it. Do it. Can we get to a million subs today? I think we can. I'm gonna have some Cheeto. How's the 9 to 5 treating you? I feel good. I haven't done one of these streams in like months, but I feel good. I think doing the longer streams, I did super long streams in like January and February. So you know what? I'm ready. I'm prepared now. People say streaming is not a real job. <laughs> well, this is going to be annoying to like walk around. Yeah, I don't like doing this movement. I'm going to move everything up one tile. I like having extra space to move around. Oh yeah, that's better. Oh wait, you guys can't see it. Lamau, I moved the table up one tile. Because before I had to move like this, but now I could just dash across. shopping already I forgot skip to morning another day another dollar man now that the items are more complex I'm not serving as many people that is kind of a bummer also I gotta move these toys because I didn't realize they were blocking the path Let's call Carla. Oh, hey. Got three new cats. Okay, I think we need a gray cat. That's what we need next in our lineup. the cat oh he has anxiety just like me
Oh, Carla just went in the dirty bathroom. Oh, no. I spend a lot of free time in the woods. Somehow I feel I can breathe better there. I'm sorry, you couldn't breathe in my bathroom. I'll be quicker next time. Even if they don't get served, they still give me money, which is kind of nice. Another good day at the cafe. Pick a trait. Terrific. Furniture buff. Pick a trait. Night owl. When the sun sets, they're set to work. 50% to all skills after 6 p.m. It's not too bad. Especially since we close at 8 p.m. now. Plus two doll skills when at least four pieces of diner furniture are present. I'll do the night owl buff. Pick a trait, diva. Plus two stress needs, plus three artists. Or muse. Plus 10% on all resources for every artist in your cafe. Ooh, I like that. if I have less than 10 and then the rest I'm gonna save for the next day or whenever I have to unlock new recipes which is gonna be soon at the shrine another day another dollar gonna want to yap. Nope, he wants to eat. Good man. The one in the center with the orange and brown patches, that's literally my sister's favorite type of cat. That's her dream cat. I don't know what it's called, but it looks like the Toma cat that was in Japan. She literally wants one so bad. Hmm. This cat is plus one on all stats for every four cool score in your cafe. Minus one food need. Four provides two stress relief for your cats. That's actually really good because my cats get stressed out all the time. Because there's so many people. Yeah, aren't you allergic to shrimp, Mac? I'm not allergic to anything. I mean, not that I know of. <laughs> no, the cat's anxious.
The only thing I'm scared of being allergic to is... Anesthesia? Is that what it's called? Where they, like, put you under in surgery and then you never wake up? That's what I'm scared of. But then it's like, if I go to sleep, then I guess GG's. I'm not gonna wake up. Okay, Steve, you really need to get to work. Sir? Yep. My cats are all anxious. I want this cat today. I'm not gonna get it today. It's gonna take a day and a half. Hi. Do you ever sleep with the fishes? Their beds are much nicer than you'd think, really. Is that a threat? Everybody's gone! Dang, I'm missing out on so much money since I'm not getting food out quick enough. Hmm. No bueno. To town I go. Okay, good on ingredients. On to the next day. Oh, wrong button. On to the next day. Another day, another dog. What I also really like about this game is that there is like a little bit of lore. You do get dialogue with the residential characters. But I wonder what happens when you level them up completely. It's probably just like an endless store sim. Cat my sister likes, actually. This is fine. Hi. to stay in the kitchen because Steve is slow or maybe he's just slow at everything my goodness Milkshakes now? Oh, right.
I don't need to fix the fire. Everybody needs to get their food. say goodbye. I'm a living caterwaul. My mom's bullied, um, I mean, convinced me to take the entry test for the Rasselworth Witching University some time ago. My results came back yesterday and, well, I aced the test. Hooray. I suppose I must cancel Mateo's sarcasm classes as well. He told me I was getting the hang of it, too. I want to thank you for supporting the Pan Emporium, dear. To be completely honest, I do not think I would have been able to stay open for as long as I did without your patronage. You believed in my dream, even when others didn't. Even when my business model involves selling products for fish, I'll... I'll never forget that kindness, Peason. Oh dear. I'm getting emotional now. Ooh, you can't stop. Maybe you'll enjoy it, or is this what you really want? Ooh, is this what you really want? I... I don't think it is, no. But I was never sure if opening up a pet emporium was what I wanted either. Maybe, just maybe, I'll enjoy it. The university is well known for its alchemy programs and a wide variety of dangerous secret chambers. Perhaps my moms were right all along. I'm a witch. Witches do witchcraft. It was a stupid idea to open a pet shop. Okay, be proud you gave it your best shot. What's important is that it was your own choice, or but you love animals more than anything. Be proud you give it your best shot, that sounds defeated. What's important is that it was your own choice. It's kind of like pushing her to stay, right? And then, but you love animals more than anything, that's gonna- she's gonna be like, but it was childish to think that way. What's important is that it was your own choice, Carla. Peason, you... you are right. It was never about the store. What matters is that it's something I decided to try. For myself and for the animals. Of course you would understand that. To me, you are a shining example of that, Peason. A fire seems to spark in Carla Lola's eyes. Thank you for reminding me, Peason. You are a dear friend and I appreciate you. The university's classes do not start for another while. I'll use that time to work up to confronting my moms. Yes! I'll let you know what I do, Peason. For now, I'm going home to prepare. Goodbye. <laughs> Screw her mom. And not in the fun way. You received the Gimbus 2000. Magic Aura plus two. Which is level up. They now want... Sundays and Harmony Tea, which looks like a bubble tea, which I love. Okay, let's place this broom. Man, everybody trashed my bathrooms. town I'm good on ingredients, which is good because I'm out of potions. Let's go back home. Oh, I can expand my restaurant. I haven't been doing that.
Oh, that's so satisfying doing all at once. Okay, another day, another dollar. We'll probably get everybody to level 5 today. Or level 4 at least. I think everybody's at level 3. Yeah, everybody to level four at least today. <laughs> Oops, the cats need food. <laughs> Try and level up. Project complete. More seats. You get four more chairs. It okay, looks, like looks like I'm at the max number of seats. Which kind of sucks. I'm gonna unlock a different lore and then we'll get a few more cat slots. me fish santa any sweet lad everybody likes arwell so much i don't get it it's the cliche befriending the aloof guy and then you feel special i don't like when people withhold affection sometimes Cat's trust. Everybody welcome. Ollie to the new team. Everybody left happy anyway.
Maybe I need to level Steve up. That could be why he's just not doing shit all day. Hmm. Yeah, we're good on ingredients. Let's see how many chairs I, I can put out. Yeah, I'm gonna need more chairs. Another day, another dollar. One straight today. Not a good haul. He did not sound happy. <laughs> okay, I think I need to focus on just cooking primarily. take so long too.
With more people, my cats are getting more and more anxious. I do feel like that is true to reality. I've always wondered. Because I've been to two cat cafes. They're both in America. And uh, both of them, the music was like fairly loud. Like, it was like lo-fi beats, but really loud. I can only assume the cats have to be trained to, like, not freak out. There's a bunch of new people, new smells. It's gotta be a lot for them. Talking about calming down, this is the cat that relieves stress, so we're gonna take him. <laughs> oh, lazy! <laughs> you adopted a stray. Welcome, lazy, to the team! <laughs> so me calling him lazy. <laughs> Carl, oh, was an old friend of mine. I reckon the two of you are getting along great. You're both lovable weirdos. Thanks, old man. Really cheered me up. Yeah, since I'm not serving people, I'm not getting desired. Aww. You know what? I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna cancel this mission and get another worker. the desire already it, it auto completed it i thought it reset nice let's get another staffer why not because we really need some help around here pick a trait hipster plus two to all skills these are all decoration buffs let's do diner buff I guess I should level up my employees. Okay, plus two to all skills when there's bar decorations. Plus two to all skills when there's magical furniture. Plus two cooking. Let's make you better at cooking, man. You really need to get faster. Weirdo, plus two bladder need, plus three witches. Slightly magical, plus one witches. Um, plus three, obviously. I'm running on a jewel, so I'm gonna need to summon artists again. I don't need punks for now. Oh, I'm out of seats. Okay. Now I know. Oh, I need to hire a new staff member. Looking for a job? service. Let's hire Zoe. You hired Zoe. Level 1. Okay, another day, another dollar. You're at your cat limit. Consider giving a cat a forever home so you can adopt more cats. Oh. No, I'm at my limit. I'm gonna change my shrine then.
takes a thousand, my goodness. Yeah, let's see how Zoe does. Let's see if she's gonna laze around all day. Got some more strays. I can't adopt any though. <laughs> the one in the middle? Okay, no more lures until I hit my cat limit. Now that I have another employee. Want to fight in Minecraft? <laughs> it's crazy how much the cafe has expanded. I know it's been six hours, almost seven. Like I said, the real meat and potatoes happens at around like hour four or five for these games. Oh, I forgot to feed my cats. Don't report me. Remember Mateo when he was a dyke? Spent lots of time chasing, running after cats, and exploring the woods. Mostly chases that world wide web these days. The townsfolk, filled with delight, have helped a lot in restoring the cat shrine. You decide to go take a look. You're startled by the mysterious black cat's high pitched voice. When did it enter the clearing? Wait, he has a high pitched voice? Nah, I'll keep my regular voice. <clears throat> the shrine is looking much better. I would say it's equal to a box of cardboard. This is high praise. I can tell you have more questions for myself. Come then, ask away. What are you? <laughs> Do you know the old human saying? Black cats bring ill fortune. I am old as this saying. I am the Gremlkin. The grim days to which I owe my name are long gone, however. Now I simply look after the cats of this small valley and this shrine. But I have lacked the strength to do so for some time now. I have spent some time watching the humans of the town, little thing. They say that Huckable isn't content to put its dirty claws all over the village, but that it now wishes to roost here in this glade. We must keep our ears perked and our eyes out for this hawk. I do not trust it, not one bit. The Grimokin disappears, leaving you alone with a progressively more enchanting shrine. 
Big Corpus coming in, and we must stop it. Wait, I'm level 36? Holy moly. I'm cracked. Pick a trait. Scavenger. Plus 10 materials payout. Okay. <gasps> Pick a trait. This cat knows about getting the greatest deal somehow. Minus 25% furniture cost. That's crazy. It's actually really good. I love that cat. Very good. I'm rich in everything now. I don't gotta worry about money. Let's switch out artist for vagrants. Start at seven cats. Another day, another dollar. My servers are on it. Dude, Bonner is like a sliver away. It's so mean. Just level up on your own, man. Everything is going smoothly.
Why, if it ain't peace and my favorite cat herder, ye shall be proud. I know at least the way. Bonner's cheerful voice isn't matched by his pained expression. Are you holding up, Bonner? Ah, you're as canny as your granny. Nothing could pass her either. Got in a bit of a row with my hubby, Gavin, this morning. That old man's got a tongue like a viper, I tell ye. Told me to quit me job as a ferryman. I already gave up the wide open sea for the man. Now he expects me to give up my tiny trifling river. Wait till you're why. I've grown forgetful. Dangerously so, according to him. Hogwash and boulder dash, I say. Sounds like he's worried, or what did you eat for breakfast yesterday? Let's not pry him. Let's just... Yeah, he's worried. Yeah, you're right. That just hurts more. I hate worrying the old fellow. Sure, I forget things sometimes, and I have more trouble focusing on things lately. But I can't quit me job over that, can I? There's a thought I've been having, he said. I only ever told your grand. I love Catterwall, and I love Gavin. But sometimes I dream of escaping. Returning to a life of adventure and uncertainty. In fact, I bet leaving would clear my head right up. All this peace and quiet has made my brain go soft. What do you say? I think you should listen to Gavin. You should do what makes you happy, or it's not my place to give advice. I think you should listen to Gavin. Gavin just said to quit his job, not to like leave. That's a whole, that's a whole different thing. Um, he's an old man. He should enjoy his time while he has it, right? He should enjoy his time while he has it. You should do what makes you happy, Bonner. Well said, peace and Right now being on me boat would gladden me hard. Thanks for listening to me troubles. Guess I ended up telling a story anyways. Kinda depressing one, but still. Thanks for listening to me troubles, peace and I'm off to me boat. You received Bonner's Aquarium. Entertainment too expensive too. Aquarium is pretty sick. Fisher Folk will level up. They now want sashimi and Italian sub sandwich. Oh, that means I gotta unlock the recipes too. Dang. I'm out of bread! Oh no, I'm out of bread. Everybody left. Dang. I think everybody gives me money. But. I don't get desire when I don't complete their order. I think that's it. Okay, well, I think I want to change my shrine. I don't necessarily need the cat maxing. I need the recipes. And they cost 750, so it's not too bad. Let's do a refined palette, because that only has two recipes. I can manage that. Adding four more things to the menu ain't really it. Nerd. Plus one on all stats for every four fun score in your cafe, or scavenger plus 10% mature SP. I'll do that one. Let's 
Let's place Bonner's Aquarium. I'm gonna change my advertising. I don't need fish anymore. I don't need green anymore. I have so much of everything. Let's bring back punks and businessmen. Buy two bread, since we went through ten today. Okay, I got 700 potion left. I'll buy more of anything that has like 11 or less. Just to make sure I don't run out. Because I'll be able to unlock new recipes tomorrow in game. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. Another day, another dollar. Let's call Mateo. I think the game plan is get all your cats leveled up to max level, adopt them out, get max desire, and then go from there. So I don't think I'm gonna use the lures for a while. So many things to cook! There we go, my goodness. Hey Zoe's now standing around doing nothing? She's still long? with how much you've expanded Cat in the Kettle, bud. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Okay. Mateo's gotta be my least favorite. I hate capitalists. I'm a commie. Uh oh. Oh, I thought the music broke. Yes! You unlock the refined palette. Sorry. 
Oh, when they- even if they don't get food, they still give desire, but not the same amount. They give, like, half less. Well, that's kind of good, I guess. Not ideal, but still better than nothing. Pick a treat. Bar wrench. Enables maintenance skill. That's pretty good. Okay, plus two to all skills. Magically attuned. And there's magical decorations. Let's do the maintenance skill. Having me fix stuff is kind of annoying. Heavy tippers, plus 10% gold payout, or heart and minds, plus 10% delight. Ooh, that's really good. Delight is good. To town. Unlocking both of these recipes, that way you don't gotta worry. There's new ingredients as well. Rice. And that's it. I guess it uses the same fish. Okay, I'm out. cafe is ready and you know what else i'm ready for an ad break because guys we are seven hours in the stream about an hour left of my shift it's almost 4 p.m it does not feel like it's been seven hours that's crazy so if you want to avoid that ad all you must do is subscribe for 4.99 just five dollars skip your coffee and get ad reviewing all month long or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Isn't that pretty cool? So click subscribe, see if you have a subscription available. Do it. I'm gonna have more Cheeto. Also, do we have any Smoogle reviews coming in? Use your channel points and you can leave a review at my cap cafe. I've been open for 7 hours, 46 days in game. I think I know what I'm doing. Help support small business. Hi Chip. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Okay, another day, another dollar. Seven AM? Seven AM to seven I think we're open till eight PM in game. That's a long time to be working. Ta -ta.
Man, fish and chips sound so good. I haven't had them in forever. There's no good fish places here near me. Which is surprising because I live in Washington. <laughs> The only fish place we have is like Trappers. No, that's sushi. <laughs> I mean, Ivers. But that's a chain place, so you know it's gonna be bad. I've only had Ivers a few times, and it was aight, but not good. Okay, Zo, get back to work. What are you doing? I started building these plastic model kits, by which I mean I watch 40 hours of how-to videos. <laughs> Dude, Mateo is such a classic millennial. He sees something on TikTok and has to buy it. He's such a sucker. Oh my god, I gotta feed the cats. My desire is going up by a huge amount every day. It's only going up by like a hundred. And it feels like I'm doing so much work every day. Mm. My workers need to be leveled up more. So I won't level myself up anymore. I'm just gonna work on leveling up my staff. Another day, another dollar. Hello. 
I was really hoping I could have beaten this game today in the eight hours, but I don't think I can. But I do want to see, like... I want to see if there's an end game. I mean, I'll see how much further I can get in another hour. Because it seems like the only way to progress the lore is to invite the regulars. And I'm at level 4 for most of them. And it takes about, like, 5 days to level each one up. I was curious if the resources max out, max out at 999, but I have 1300 materials, so it does not max out. That's very good. Hi. Siri, boba tea. Boba tea. Burgundy blazers, boba tea. Don't mind me, Peason. Just trying to get better targeted ants. <laughs> Dude, he's so stupid, but so funny. <laughs> fast enough. Okay, I got about 200 desire. That's not too bad. Good on food. Now the day, now the dollar. It is officially four o two. An hour left of my shift, everybody. It'd be cool if you could assign the workers to certain tables, like an actual restaurant. I think that would make it 
less confusing. Okay, I'm close to leveling up. I'm not leveling up, but unlocking the homestyle cooking recipes. Hi. You really channeled your core competency into your customer journey, Peason. That doesn't mean anything, but it's a compliment. He's such a jerk. Wait, did we get everyone? I think we got everybody served. Project complete. Homestyle cooking. Ooh. Let's unlock pies. No way. Oh, I thought we had everybody served. Dang. Oh, we missed two people! We are so close to a perfect day. Definitely leveling up the workers is working. Who would have thought? They each cost two fifty. Biscuits and gravy is my favorite thing in the whole world. I always get what, get it whenever I go to any diner. Oh, and there's new kitchen equipment too. I'll only do one recipe a day. I'm bro! A bar mixer, a bar stove. A basic mixer and a basic stove. What? Oh! Okay, the bar versions give you decoration buffs. I should save up for those. Dang. And tarnation. Okay, well, we're gonna need to advertise to the businessmen, the artisans, and that's it. Okay, I think I'm gonna expand my restaurant a little bit today since I have the material. Wait, the staircase thing is kind of a look. a little bit if we're adding new kitchen material 
Nothing is in this counter yet. I'm gonna move it back here. Because every other station I'm using... Yeah, I think I'm ready. Another day, another dollar. Everybody's taking so long to place their orders, too. They're indecisive. Okay, surely Mateo will level up today, right? The game is lagging! Gosh damn Nintendo Switch. Can't do anything right. Just like my employees. Lagging and slagging all day. Mateo, friendship, level up. Peace in! Hello, I wanted to talk to you about something. It's about that cat shrine you've been renovating with the town's people's help. It's, well, uh, this is tough for me to say. I want you to stop that. Or rather, Huckabee told me to tell you. They told me to tell you that they want me to want you to stop that. Thing is, Huckabee has big plans for that particular spot. A design in turn happened to draw a business center right there in a future of Carter War concept image. And now the top brass, my client, are dead set on a business center right there. But you've helped out with it as well, or I'm not stopping for Hawkable. I'm not, okay, you don't want to blame him. So I, I'd rather just say, stop. I figured you'd say something like that. I, I mean, everyone working on the cat shrine and taking care of the town's cats has made the town seem more lively as of late. Let me change the subject for a second. Theory, please log the following conversation under. I may have trouble expressing feelings. Peason, can I ask you a question? Cat in the kettle is fantastic, you know. Beautiful business, cute cats, talk of the town and all that. I call it a success by any measure. 
to the question. Do you feel satisfied yet? I'm very satisfied. I don't feel satisfied yet. Or how do you mean? Uh, what's his angle? Because he's trying to be like, do you want to grow this place more? Then you need big corporate. Or it could be, you want to build it more yourself. I want to keep working on it. Then I'll be satisfied. See, how do you mean? Not to treat a cat Kara like a lab rat, but I'm curious to get that crispy, raw take without further explanation. Is that okay? I hate him. I don't feel satisfied yet. Wow. I love it when someone expresses emotions I myself am too scared to face. I've always been told to be truly happy. You need to achieve success. I built my life around that fact. My inner measure, I'd say I've achieved success. I built a company. I've hiked mountains. I mean, have you seen my fancy coffee machine? But no matter how deliciously bitter my cafe, I don't feel satisfied. I do feel bitter, come to think of it. Achievement leads to satisfaction. Satisfaction means happiness. But how do I know when I'm satisfied? Much to think about. Thanks for giving me your honest opinion, Pisa. And good luck with the cat shrine. Yes, he sided with me. He's not an asshole. You received Mateo's model train set. He's a child. Entertainment too expensive too. Business people level up from level 3 to level 4. Desired foods is now avant garden salad and omelette. Dude, he's such a child. Oh, the day ended. Let's place his little train set. Freaking child. Omelette recipe I need. Okay, I'm going to buy the bar version of the furniture. That way I can get buffs along with the actual furniture. Pancakes require a stove. I'm gonna get the stove first in. And we're in. We got a new stove. Another day, another dollar. We get to level up our well again.
Everybody's so chit chatty today. You're learning a lot of new recipes, Peason. Keep at it. I am just for you, Arwell. You know what? I bet if I got a litter box, the cats would not pee on the floor. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy one tonight. <laughs> that literally just clicked for me. I'm not a cat owner, okay? Sorry, man, we're out of cheese. And my cats are hungry. Oh no. Okay, a lot of people didn't get served. That's my fault. But you know what would make me feel better? If you follow the channel. Because, guys, we're another 30 minutes in the stream, and I keep on forgetting to tell you guys to follow. So, if you're new here, click follow. Turn the heart button purple. Please do it. It's 421. 40 minutes left. It's been a long day here at the cafe. Dude, it pissed on the statue! Pick a trait. Gourmand plus two cooking. Gurgacious enable social skills so they can do some chatting. That's actually really good. I'm gonna do that one. You know, I hate risen sometimes, it's exhausting. Pick a trait clothier plus 10% fabrics payout, or slightly magical plus one witches. Let's do witches. Missy is such a well-rounded cat. She's my favorite. She's my first cat that I adopted too, I think. Okay, let's buy a litter box. <laughs> let's buy two, actually. I think we'll need two. <laughs> And then I need a mixer. Then I have one of every... Oh, there's diner versions? Oh, there's so many different versions of everything. Oh. That's so cool. I don't need it though, I already bought it. Dang it. I'm out of money! We're gonna put the litter boxes in the back? And let's see if the cats will actually pee in them and not pee in the lobby. That would be great. Okay, I think I am ready for another day. Another day to 
color. Oh, I forgot how I'm gonna advertise to. I forgot to change it. Okay, we no longer need businessmen. We need vagrants. And we also need fishermen. Uh, no, we don't need fishermen. We don't... No, we don't need vagrants. I lied. We need fishermen. Artisans. And then witches. Oh, Zoe can raise them up now. Oh, she takes so long chit-chatting, though. That's actually really bad. <sighs> Let's summon our well again. My workers just need to get on my level. I understand that they're, like, working for free and they have no investment in the success of my business, but, like, they just need to work harder. They should want to work harder. Alright, fine. I'll share my hair secrets with you. Just drop in, it could take a while. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> I'm working, Arwell. I can't be listening to you yapping. I got cats to pet, people to feed. A significantly less amount of cat pee stains. So it appears the litter boxing litter boxes are working. No, we're out of bread! Oh no, this is bad. My reputation. To town. Okay, I've unlocked all the recipes. I'm not gonna buy decorations for a while because I'm probably gonna need more cooking equipment soon. I'm at 988 desire? Man, so close. Do I have to clean the litter boxes? Yes, I do. That's silly. Yeah, I don't want to keep them by the public just for like aesthetic reasons. So I'm not gonna put them in the lobby for yeah, for that reason. 
Another day, another dollar. And the rush begins. Let's go, new recipes. Okay, I skipped past it. Oopsie. And luck pies. Should I get another worker? I probably should. Let's get another worker. We really need help here. Especially with the menu increasing too. more days to level up our well. I hope I can get that done today. not have common decency? Oh no, I didn't serve Arwell. Okay, I need to get his order done first. And he got a milkshake. Arwell? Ar Arwell, there you go. Because I couldn't call a regular in till so late in the day. I have followed an online course at a culinary school. Has it been tough? Don't worry about that. We so cool and aloof. Dang, we missed a lot of people. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Please don't leave a bad review. They didn't trash the litter boxes today. They peed everywhere but the litter box then. And chocolate cake. Only 300 for the recipe? That's not too bad. I have. Oh, we're gonna run out of so many. I'm out of flour. Oh, we're gonna run out of everything tomorrow. Oh no. Yeah, I don't need artisans. I don't need fishermen. We're only gonna advertise to witches. 
because they are cool bitches. Another day, another dollar. Oh, this is taking so long. Come on, the harmony team. I'm sorry, Arwo, but having a milkshake every day is probably not good for you. Can vouch. I might have high cholesterol. And no, I did not have a milkshake every day. So many chit chatters now, jeez. Ever notice how Finley completely ignores me? So nice of her. I think she really gets me, you know? Wait, does he like Finley? No! Finley was gonna be my GF. What am I gonna do now? Ice cream? Uh oh. Yeah, okay, the game is lagging a lot. Maybe because I've been playing for seven hours? I don't know. I don't think the normal player plays it for this long. <laughs> I'm out of ice cream! Oh, so many people left unhappy today. That's my fault. We're broke. Pick a trait. Gore mod plus two cooking. Plus two when there's magical furniture. And plus 50% to all skills after 6 p.m. I'll do the 50%. We did get a lot of witches today though, which is very good. I'm stocked up on most everything, so I should be good. Another day, another dollar. 20 minutes left. Then we can get out of here. Why is the cat on the sink? Get off. Thank you. Get off.
Hopefully Arwell will level up today, please. Okay, hi. I'm gonna check on the litter boxes because I didn't check last night. Good thing I did. Oh my god, Arwell is actually smiling at me! He never smiles! Maybe the comments about Finley were, like, mm -hmm. not real. Hi. Or maybe he likes me? No, I like Finley. It's a classic three-way love triangle. Mm Last weekend, I gave the hog a well-earned cleaning. She never been this shiny. Hog? What does he mean? He better mean his motorcycle. Not anything else. Huh? <laughs> There's so many like, sus words in this game. Like, the old man said pasties instead of pastas. The devs know what they're doing. Okay, day's almost over. Dang, I almost got everybody. The cats peed everywhere. Maybe I should take them to the vet? They were all strays. My goodness. Maybe they're protesting. Pick a trait. Bar wrench enables maintenance skill. Enables cat care skill. Or plus two to all skills when there's four pieces of magical furniture. Let's do cat care skill. Since Zoe doesn't have that. to town. Okay, that should be enough. Ah, uh, maybe I should buy more. There we go, now I'm good. Now I feel comfortable. We should not run out of anything tomorrow. Another day for the dollar. This could quite possibly be the last day. Oh, I'm gonna unlock a new staffer too. Nice.
Let's call Arwell. This will be our our last level up of the day. Oh, Arvo's so happy now. Oh, all my bathrooms are dirty. Fact. Okay, let's get our first coffee fact of the day. This is from goodhousekeeping.com. 21 surprising coffee facts that'll perk up your afternoon by Amanda Hawkins and Caroline Picard. The drink dates back to 800 AD. Legend has it that 9th century goat herders noticed the effect caffeine had on their goats, who appeared to dance after eating the fruit of the kofi bean. A local monk that made a drink with the protus and found that it kept them awake at night. Thus, the original cup of coffee was born. Coffee fact number one. Also, can we get some smoker reviews? We're closing in 13 minutes, guys. Oh, okay. Hi. Yes! More staff. Okay, let's... Um, uh... Let's keep unlocking stuff. Arwell, friendship level up. Oh. Hey, pal. Pal? Sure. Pal. Pal? I got a question. Let's say you were on this cruise, right? Because you want a ticket for the cruise. <laughs> Try not to interrupt. Or interrupt. I, I won't interrupt. I won't yet. Appreciate it, pal. So, you're on this cruise, but twist. The ship crashes. So you're stranded on this island all by yourself. And guess what I want to ask is, would you enjoy that? Do you think it's cool to be just by yourself? I like being with people more. I sometimes like alone time to recharge, sure, or I prefer being alone. I'm indifferent. I'm gonna say sometimes. Makes sense. Arwell mutters to himself, maybe my battery is just busted. Honestly, I feel happier when I'm by myself. There's so many chatty weirdos in Catterwall. <laughs> Sorry, I was talking over it. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't Starbucks. Oh, wait, you said 9 out of 10? Thank you. <laughs> wait, when you said ask for tall coffee, you should have said not me because I'm 5'2. Oh, wait, you're 5'1, Kim. <laughs> okay. There's so many chatty weirdos in Catterwall, so I gotta work hard to scare them off. Mateo's annoyingly fearless, though. You're not so bad, pal. You know what? You don't use my battery all that much. Shit. Oh wait, still, he did not say shit. Still, I'm all out of power here, okay? I gotta shut up for a while. Oh. You received trash. You got stray lure. It's probably edible, maybe. You can now also purchase this at the pet emporium. Cool, thanks man, you gave me trash. You know what, Arwell? You're trash. I'll say it. Punks level up from level 3 to level 4. Now they're gonna want to order biscuits and gravy and baked potatoes. Vagabonds leveled up too. They now desire strawberry milkshakes and baked potatoes. Cool.
Oh my goodness, so much food. Ideal meal. The game is also lagging so much. He's struggling. This game needs a break too? For sure. <laughs> Very nice. If you can't tell, I love just zooming through games. You know what else I love zooming through? Ads. Because guys, we are 8 hours in the stream. Only 9 minutes left of my shift. Isn't that crazy? So, if you want to avoid the ad, all you must do is subscribe. For $4.99, just 5 buckaroos. Click subscribe, do it now. Or if you have an Amazon Prime, you can link it and you can sub for free. Isn't that pretty cool? Okay, final ad of the day, hopefully. There we go. I'll do one more day in game, because that should be about like eight, nine minutes. Unless I speed run. To town. Here we go. Another day, another dog. Probably our last day today. Oh, I can hire somebody. I forgot. Um, let's do that right now. Wrong place. Cooking. Looking for a job. Okay, so that level two, level one. Level two, level one. Level two, level one. Um, they're all the same. They have the magic trait. They have the tea trait. And they have the plant trait. Wait, they look just like me. Hey, they can't do that. That's gonna confuse me. Let's do pink hair, because I love pink. The musician. The color, not so much. We got another staffer in the house. I'm gonna level him up. Increase your serving skills, because you suck. Another day for the color, our final day. Me looking at my pink sweater right now? You didn't have to tell me that. That could have been like your your little secret, but you had to tell me. <laughs> Dude, what is this guy doing? Thank you, get to work, sir. My goodness, zoomers! <laughs> what a bum! Okay, bum I think is a very mean word. Actually, I'm lying. <laughs> I think bum is funny. I don't think I ever use the word bum. I say pleb. I do say scrub sometimes, but bum? I don't use the word bum. I was a bum? Yeah, you were unemployed for how long, Kim? <laughs> we're never gonna let you live that down. Even though it's technically not really your fault.
Okay, my game is lagging a lot. I think it's at her limit. Ooh, who should we call? Because we can't level anybody up. Let's do my girlfriend, soon to be Finley. My goodness, it's lagging so much. Hayaku! Bubble tea should not take that long to make. A bubble tea sounds so good though, oh my god. I can only have one treat a week. Treat meaning something that is loaded with sugar. And I haven't had my treat this yet week because it's Tuesday, so I should not have had my treat already. <laughs> oh wait, did I not serve Finley? Oopsie. Mateo keeps forcing me to make theme songs to his bad ideas. Did you know he's working on something called the Cat's Backyard Wrestling? Yeah, Mateo's kind of a creep. Okay, double check that everything is good. It's just laying in its piss. Classic. Okay, restaurant is good. Let's level up Ethan. Pick a trait. Jit, gregacious. Enable social skill. Or enable cat skill. Let's do social, that's more common. Ethan's already up to level five. To town. Anything that I had fifteen or less of, I I bought. Okay, we are ready for the next day, but you know what, 4.58 p.m. on a Tuesday, I think we can wrap it up early. Let's see my final ranking, I see. Yeah, because a lot of people walked out. <laughs> and there we go. That was my first eight hours of Cat Cafe Manager. Let's save the game. Wait, how do I exit the game? Do I just go like this? Imagine I lose everything. Imagine. That would be hilarious. Eight hours? <laughs> Let's see. Well, this game takes forever to load. It takes like two minutes to load. Also, I don't know why the logo sound is so loud. Okay, so that was another 9 to 5 stream, everybody. It's been a long time since I've done it. And honestly, I feel fine. I thought I'd be tired, but I feel okay. I think it's because it took me about two to three hours to actually figure out how to do the game properly. So once I hit the three to four hour mark, it was just uphill, smooth sailing. I figured it out. <laughs> updating siri proud of you thank you even the loading screen is lagging why is it dropping frames dude if your game can't even run on the switch what are you doing counting kittens 
How many kittens in chat? I have one. <laughs> Wait, 17, my favorite number. <laughs> okay, I just want to see if it saved my save. Okay, guys, be be serious. Do you should I finish this like for a separate stream? I just want to see the ending. Like we just do a sub only. I crank out the remaining like five hours. See, look, and then it's black screen. I think it's a cute game. Honestly, it is really cute. It is kind of glitchy and it's laggy, but I think it's pretty solid for a sim game. It's also not too hard. It's just clicking. I think it's decent. For a sim game, I would say 8 out of 10. In comparison to the other sim games we played, this is probably the most... Like, everything makes sense for the most part. It does take a long time to level up the base. Like, to earn, like, new staff members, new recipes. It does take a long time. I played for 8 hours, and I think I'm probably... I assume I'm, like, 80% done of the character dialogue and the story... I'm probably only like 50% done with the achievements and the little achievement hub at the shrine. I would say 8 out of 10. I think this game is like $15 normal price, but I bought it on sale. No, 8 hours. I, I didn't get bored of it. Because usually when I get to the end of these streams, I'm like, end it, please, end it, please. But I'm like, I want to see what else happens. I think everybody's going to leave the town. Everybody's kind of alluding to that. They're all going to leave me. You guys won't leave me, right? Okay, that was another 9 to 5 stream, everybody. Thank you for watching. Um, I have to go. So if we want to do calligraphy, it has to be really quick. Really, really quick. I have to do something at 545. Calligraphy time. Also, I did a longer stream today because I'm not going to be able to stream tomorrow. I, I, got, I got things to do all day. Bye, Kim. Any redeemers? You guys have 10 seconds. No joke. 10 seconds. Purple? Okay. Let's get some musica on. Me gusta musica. Okay, and if anybody's dipping out, make sure you watch my most recent YouTube video. My chat made me do a ramen mukbang. Click the link pinned at the top of chat. If you're watching the VOD, click the link. It's a banger video. Go watch it now. Do, 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 Let's do sim music again. That's so loud. This is Sims 1, I think. I didn't finish my Cheetos. I don't know why I said that. Any other redeemers? Do so now. Wait, I can take the clock off screen. Add that shit. Okay, plan is simple. Um. Wait, if I'm gonna do Mario Kart on Sunday, then I won't do Mario Kart this week. Plan is simple. Starting. A new story game, a long one, and then a short story game, one-off stream. Sub-only stream on Friday. Maybe we'll do Mario- wait, practicing for Sunday Mario Kart with viewers on Friday. We'll do that for sub-only. Saturday, maybe I'll stream? Sunday, hopefully I'll be able to stream? It said the events from like 12 to 6 or 8, right? Depends on if I hang out with my friend or not. I'm flipped. Saved. Do we have anybody else who wants me to write their name? Do so now. Or use your channel points now. Por favor. Let's do this deep purple, which is basically indigo, but it's still purple. Let's 
It was like a grapey purple. I haven't swatched any of these tan mint pens. Okay, anybody else? You guys have 10 seconds. 10? Nine. Wait, I, I'm not gonna count down on stream anymore. I'm not going to. If you know, you know. I'm not going to anymore. <laughs> Bye, Kim. Have a good night, hon. Thank you for watching. <laughs> hey guys, I'll wrap it up here. Thank you for watching. Indie chatters, lurkers, thank you for hanging out for this long nine to five stream. I did it. Again. Um, I can't stream tomorrow. I'm busy all day tomorrow. But Thursday and Friday, I'll be able to stream. So Thursday, uh, maybe I'll do a short one-off story game. I'm thinking of... Where is it? I'm thinking... Where is it? Don't they stop? Okay, actually, where is it? Oh, this one. Enjoy the diner. Enjoy the diner. I'm probably gonna do that on Thursday. And then Friday, subscriber-only stream. Mario Kart with viewers. Make sure you watch. If you don't watch... Grr, I'm gonna be really mad. And then, maybe I'll stream Saturday, maybe I'll stream Sunday. It depends. We'll see. Okay. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye! You know the drill. I know this one, the wrong wrong video. Bye Chip! We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Oh guys, make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube, please. Weekly stream highlights, banger videos every week. Most recent video is the ramen mukbang stream. And if you want to keep up to date with me, follow my social media. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. Follow now. Any other last words? The song is only a minute long. I'm doing this so I don't like drain out my ending screen because sometimes I forget to end stream. And that's why I have a different scene when I end. I don't just click end stream. That <laughs> way I make sure I don't show cam. Okay, bye!